where was the eclipse stream? Ah, well, doing uh, like mobile live streams to like in Canada without the right data plan is really annoying. But I did get a chance to see the totality and it was um, way cooler than I ever expected. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen a photo taken from any camera that has actually done it justice. You know, it's just there's something about the way it hits your eye and the way it hit the lens. It was like, every time I look at a photo, I'm like, that's kind of cool, but it isn't exactly how it was. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain. It looked like a black hole without the event horizon. It was in, it was incredibly fascinating. And the fact that it just like, it went from, it went from nothing to something. And um, yeah, I, we had 100% totality where, where I'm from. 100%. It was insane. Yeah, it was absolutely insane. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on, Lanyard. I can't open up links in uh, my alerts, but let me, give me a second, all right? Hold on, I always have to log out of stream elements and log back in. Hold tight. Just so just wait, 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 wait. Any super shatters? We'll see if there's any super shatters today. Alright, what do we got over here? No. <laughs> what? You are a legend, my friend. Oh my god. All right, let's just open up. Let's just start the day with this. Now, I so here's the problem. You know, out of context, hella sus. But for those that know, though they know. My God, Lanyard, you are an absolute legend. By the way, okay, the Ranger pants, we wore them for the stats. Okay, we wore them for the stats. What am I looking at? This is our Dragon's Dogma 2 character named Friar Pie. And for some reason, the game bugged out halfway through and only rewarded us with female clothing. So like every legendary dress we'd get, every legendary legging we'd get with good stats would always be like thongs and like corsets and dresses. Bugged? No, I swear to God, because we had full, we had full chest hair at the very end of the game. We were wearing male clothing at the very end of the cutscene. But during the game, dude, it bugged out. Dude modded it that way, ain't fooling us. Anyway. Um, Pickle, you really captured Pickle's, like, what the fuck is going on face. Fantastic, all right? Clearly, honestly, it was the, the helmet too, dude. The helmet is fantastic. Oh my god, Lanyard, you really, you really, um, you're, you're really good at what you do, man. Like, I need to have a section on the website that's, like, just dedicated to, uh, your fan artwork because it's just absolutely incredible some of the things that you've done over the years has just been out of this world it needs to be on there um thanks again you and you've paid me ten dollars so um i i'm really slow at the ideas but i still think what we should do at some point is put a lot of your art if you if you want <clears throat> we should do like um a lot of your artwork on the website and then do some sort of like rev split or revenue share or, or one flat fee or something like it doesn't matter, but we should do something. 
Because I think having the actual set... Yeah, I actually finished Dragon's Dogma 2, and um, I, I gave it about a 5 out of 8, maybe like a high 5, like a 5, a 5, 8, 5, 9. And the only reason why I didn't like it at the end was because of how fast the game ramped up, and then also the way the ending was handled. But there is some really cool moments. Right, there's some really cool moments in the game, but it's just, uh, what ending did you end up playing? All of them, I guess? Because, like, the way the game is designed is it sort of forces you into playing all of them. It kind of, it, it kind of pushes you, like, you do the thing, <laughs> spoiler alert, spoiler alert, Spo actual spoiler alert, so if you play Dragon's Dogma or you don't want to be spoiled with the ending, just pause for, like, 20 seconds. Um, I did the thing where I sat, I sat on the throne, but then like when you're sitting on the throne, you're baited into talking to the, to the guy. You know what I mean? You're getting the credits. You walk around. Obviously you're going to talk to the guy. Obviously you're going back to the dragon. You go back to the dragon. You stab the dragon with the thing. You know, you, you go into dragon's dogma too. Um, and then what I learned from uh, a viewer is the dragons in dragon's dogma too are only used to farm worm currency. So you don't actually have to save anybody. You don't have to save anybody. You don't have to kill the worms. Nothing. You just can sleep. There's a bed next to the blue light in the sky. And you sleep there, literally. I think they, it's intentionally there. You just save nobody, you sleep there, and you get the same ending that you would get if you save people and killed the worms which is hilarious. So we just slept it off. And then I also got the, we woke up as the crazy person on the beach. One, we did them all really. So um, I think the canonically, my favorite one was waking up as the crazy person on the beach. I think that was, uh, that was my favorite. 100%. You met, you met Chris Hadfield yesterday? Dude, I'm jealous. Canadian legend, Chris Hadfield. Um, it, would be, it would be frustrating, I feel, this day and age, being an astronaut. Um, I know Neil deGrasse Tyson on, on all of his social media. That dude, that dude's kind of going full, like... I, I don't know, I, I don't know what, what, what it is about, like, academics that feel like they can argue with internet trolls. You, you know what I mean? There seems to be a trend of like professors and well-educated scientists that will spend their entire day just debating with flat earthers. And then it's like, some of them aren't even being serious. They're just trolling. And it just, I feel like it just ruins them, man. Like it just fucking ruins them. Anytime Neil talks about something not space related, it never goes well. Yeah, I know, because like, how could you be so knowledgeable about everything? You can't. But Neil, Neil is like professionally trained to respond in what sounds like an intelligent way because he's good at that. That's what he does for when it comes to science and astrophysics. That's what makes him good at what he did for his job uh, years ago. But if you don't, you, you know what I mean? You can't turn on that cadence when you're talking about something you don't know about, right? It just, because then when you're wrong, you know, it, I feel like it hurts, it bruises the ego a little bit. Anyway, I was like, I, I just, you know, it makes me really sad just watching people fucking argue on Twitter all day. It's like, dude, the guy has a fucking disc of the earth in his profile photo. I don't think he cares. I think he... This dude is having a good time. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's his, that's his afternoon. Got a disc. Anyway, that was... Uh, anyway, like I said, that, not to deviate too much, but man, that was... Um... I've never seen something like that before, so I'm lucky that I had the privilege to be in a pretty close proximity to the totality. So, it's pretty nice. Fucking Letty on Customs, let's go. <clears throat> yeah, pretty close, pretty close. Yo, we got um, Avention, thanks to the eight months up. 
Terry, thanks for the 41 month resub. Storm, hey, thank you, Storm. Thank you for the two month sub. Rock and Rolla, thank you for the 29 month resub. <clears throat> yeah, it was, it was, yeah, we were in totality in Indiana. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was something, man. Murder Waffle, thank you for the prime sub. If this is new, he's on YouTube. Yep, yeah, I started streaming on YouTube this week. All right, so that also goes for the VOD people. If you guys are looking for uh, 1440p, uh, 1440p VODs, then they will be on YouTube. So give it a go sometime. All right, so here we are, fellas. We are back on Hardcore. Now, admittedly, I didn't actually play too many raids yesterday. We did 12 raids, um, and... Uh, the biggest struggle was just getting the Jaeger message. The first the first raid I was going for the Jaeger message, uh, somebody was camping the message. And then the second raid I went for it, I got immediately legged at the beginning of the raid, followed by two players until the very end of the extraction. Then they tried to kill me to waste my time, and I was able to kill one, and I was lining up on the second, and I went prone thinking I was in cover, but I was not. So I kind of, my time was a little wasted by two fellows near the end. So I think the first thing I would like to do, if possible, would be to try to grab that Jaeger message like as soon as we can. Um, now we have a couple, couple problems. The first problem is I have zero painkillers. What's funny is I don't think I extracted with a single set of painkillers yesterday. But I do have a fine and raid Let X. <laughs> so that's kind of how my day went yesterday. We have some good stuff. We even we even killed uh, Sanitar or sorry Sturman. But finding medication has been extremely challenging, um, and we have no we have no yeah we have no um, we have no meds. So yeah, and I don't think there's any barters for me. I remember you found painkillers on ground zero. I died that raid though. So I had an AK-101 kit, which was amazing, but here's our best prime. This is our best method of getting um, painkillers is matches. So we really need the matches, uh, but we do got a couple barter opportunities. We got, um, you know, the classics. You got the, the humpback whale for the cars. So, two toothpaste equals a humpback whale. One humpback whale equals a car med. So, we have that whole situation. So, we got some options, but I just need to be put in a position where I can farm them. And uh, that has been kind of hard, if I'm going to be honest. So, um, we got to build, continue to build that foundation today. So, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, I think we'll have to go in. I'll just run in with a, with a Mosin. And I'll bring my AFAC because that's all I got. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can uh, get in there and actually grab the message. So let's let's get her going. Is insurance allowed? Um. So I didn't include it in the rules intentionally because I actually think insurance would be really cool. Like on retrospect um i usually hardcore is not with it without insurance but i do think insurance would add a really interesting uh flavor to the hardcore experience so if, if you're gonna the the rule set we're following this season is the rule set that i feel would be the actual set that would go into the game if battle state games were to add it as a game mode it's simplified greatly, which makes things easier, but I also feel like they make things more interesting um, because it creates a lot of interesting strategies. And it also um, has, like, players can get attached to the gear. Like, you can use the same AK, and if you die and you get lucky and it comes back, you're still using that same AK, and the durability burn is going to get to the point where it's going to be jamming all the time. So uh, there's, there's some really interesting ideas. Just a reminder to add uh, Mossy and any other mod dwellers to YouTube chat. Yeah, it, it's actually very awkward to do that, Cash, without them being in the actual chat actively. 
um, because there's so many duplicate names on YouTube. If I type in someone's name, there's going to be like hundreds of the same person pop up. So if somebody, yeah, and, and then, yeah, it could be a little, it's a little awkward, honestly. Um, so yeah, I, when, when they get into the YouTube chat today, I will add them. Hey, what's up, Klaus? How you doing, man? Battle state and simplify in the same sentence. Oh man, we gotta, yeah, you gotta keep it real easy. Yeah, players can make their own super hardcore if they choose. Right. I have had the privilege to, and we all have, we've been in the Tarkov community for quite some time. And we, we do see when people make challenges that are like overly convoluted, um, the participation rate is really low. Uh, I, you know, I like settled on RuneScape. <clears throat> and the one thing I really respect about settled on RuneScape is the fact that he makes these really interesting challenge accounts with very simple and clear rules. And they're, and they're like very like strict, very direct with intention rules. And like a one sentence, sentence rule set has massive implications on how the player will play the game. And I, I always felt over the years that the hardcore rules just started turning into a manual. It's just like, there's just way too much stuff that just kept on getting added in, added in, added in. And it just got, it just became like a laundry list of stuff. And it's like, that it's, you know, it's just, it's just getting too crazy. Hello, why no Twitch stream? Uh, what? No, I am on, I'm on Twitch as well, Wookie. So that, yeah, really simple stuff. It would also make it easier for BSG to actually implement it if they actually choose to do so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're on both. Ah, uh, this spawn is, uh, particularly challenging to bring back the Twitch stream. Yo, comrade, what's up, man? Thank you for the, uh, five months up. Here's the idea for the rule set. No flea, no scav, no insurance. Yeah. I mean, that's basically what we're doing, right? I, and I, Andy, it's no flea market, no buying things from the dealers. Currently... No, no insurance for me personally, but I would like to maybe add it. That's basically the crux of it. The only reason why I added services are allowed, selling is allowed, all that kind of stuff is to just make it more clear. But I didn't even have to write that stuff. It's just because there's like a difference between a few other hardcore accounts that are going around right now. So... Yeah, if, if you just include the stuff that you're not allowed to do into the rule set. It's actually only, it's, it's only a few things. That's it. And then if it's not there and if it's not otherwise specified, then you're good to go. Or you can like bend the rule. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's what makes things interesting. So, and uh, it enables like creativity. Like the APC, for example. That's an amazing idea. Risking your cash stack, bring it into the raid because you can't put it into your, uh, your box for the chance of utilizing the APC to safely extract items on a hardcore account. But for money, is such a good idea. <clears throat> insurance but like if you're playing with buddies then like they can't drop it um yeah I, i'm just gonna leave that up to the individual discretion like the whole thing about like you can only group with hardcore characters like 
That's why it's like hardcore grouping is encouraged. But how, you know, I mean, just fucking have some fun. You know what I mean? If you want to play some Tarkov raids of your buddies on a Tuesday night for an hour or two, you don't got to worry on whether or not you're following some specific, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, until it becomes like an official rule set, if and if and ever, you know, it's not the end of the world. Sturman is up. Fun? Yeah, fun. Fun is important. Because I, I actually think, like, playing this account is really fun. Like, I want to maximize the fun. It's a little frustrating where we are right now, not having any medication. I will say. Not having any meds kind of sucks. But um, once you get meds, once you get rolling. Absolutely fun. You know, because you're, 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 you know, doing everything in the raids. Changes the value system that you have for the items that you're trying to collect. I might try to get greedy here uh, and see if we can get a sniper scaff kill. Shit. He knows I'm here. Change of plans. I know where he went. He went to go like where the gold chains are. All right, so that means we need to do a like a, a beach rotation. But Sturman's up, so that's going to be really complicated. No, no, no. I was definitely close enough to where if you were wearing a headset, you would have heard me, like, stomping over. Stur Sturman's up, so you're probably going to have people going for uh, the March Tactical shot, going up on the mountain early game, or trying to, so. I mean, we got the medical fob over here, but. I would love to loot it. But I, you know, getting the Jaeger message out would be sweet. I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to get the Jaeger message out. I think. It's possible that a guard can catch us here. So I got to be a little careful. Okay. It's an April tactical now. Oh, my God. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like, uh, I've been saying it for a long time. People are talking about it. I just think they should just go full RuneScape. 
I think the way they did it is probably the only way that I could see it working in the game. I feel like a hardcore account separate server would be really popular for a month, but that's probably about it. I think it would have to be something that's like integrated with the actual um, with the actual servers, like the live servers, with a dog tag and a name change. Yeah, it doesn't need to be on its own servers, though. Correct. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't I don't think that idea would work. Username, color schemes, and dog tags, and cosmetics. Would be great. People would probably end up playing on hardcore servers to avoid cheaters and stuff. I feel like they would be more on, uh, on hardcore. I feel like they would be. I'm just trying to grab a couple things. <clears throat> couple of things. Okay. Shit, I can't take the vase. All right. Oh yeah, the Follow TV show starts soon, huh? I don't know, there's just something about the show that, I, I don't know, it's, uh, I'll probably give it a go, but... Alright, thankfully we got the message out, okay. <laughs> I struggled with getting that out twice yesterday, so that's why we didn't do much looting. I just wanted to get it done. Um, all right, so good. We got that done. Um, that should unlock some some new barters for us. I don't know if there's anything too big, but the next mission for us is to just focus on meds, specifically painkillers. We need lots of painkillers. And water, I guess, because a lot of the early game uh, painkillers that we can use on this account requires water so um we are going to be suckling down the water big time we're going to be a thirsty fella a thirsty a thirsty fella hold on here there we go <laughs> we need painkillers chill out max pain <laughs> All right, let's turn the message in. Introduction. Oh, and also exit location woods. All right, what's up, big boy? You want the two packs of instant noodles? Sure. The Iskra ration packs and the two beef stews. Beauty. All right, we might as well uh, get some stuff working in the hideout, too. Oh, yeah, we also got the solo one, yep. I love the confidence that you think you'll be shooting 40 rounds with a Mosin. You know what, man? You got to be prepared. You got to be prepared. You never know. Oh, shooting range? I feel like this is actually not that useful for me yet. But yeah, we'll prioritize this. So special equipment uh, is purchasable from dealers. So um, we can buy this. Things like markers, Wi-Fi cameras, um, jammers, things like that. They are allowed. Um, okay. Okay. So, I'm going to sell some of the poxes, I think. Because we're kind of running out of money. And there's not a whole lot of stuff we want to sell. 
Flare guns. Um, I'm also not going for Kappa, but this beard oil is a barter for an M700. So the press pass, I'll definitely get rid of. I feel like Kappa items are going to be our primary source of, of income if there isn't a good barter for it. Letty already? Yeah. Yeah, we killed Sturman and got a Letty already. Um, kind of wild. All right. So I think my plan, we got a couple of options here. Um, but the one, the one plan that I like the most is actually rat holing reserve. I feel like rat holding reserve gives us a really good chance of attempting to farm matches. So that is, uh, that is going to be my plan. So at least we're going to open up with that and see what happens. I mean, we can also go to ground zero. There are some med spawns on ground zero. Um, and there's also some filing cabinets on ground zero. But there's also, there's a lot of PVP on ground zero. Like there's the, there's the Emercom. The Emercom area has got some med bags. There's also a lot of cabinets. Yeah. Now I like, oh, let's open up with this. Let's see what happens. Let, like, like, you know, let's just go for it. Do I have any flashlights? No. No flashlights. <clears throat> All right, yo, ambushed. Thanks, thanks for the 16 month sub. Good morning. Uh, Payday, thank you for the 14 month sub. Damn Hobo, thank you for the uh, Prime sub. Sergeant Jaeger, thank you for the 28 month sub. We got three bet kid, thanks to the one year sub. Comrade, thanks to the tier one sub with the with five months. We got Billy Boots, thanks to the 100 bits. Uh, I had to go to the toilet. Can you re repeat what you said? Number two, by the way. Oh, thanks for sharing. I don't know what we were talking about. Yo, we got Pushing Daisies. Thanks to the Tier 1 sub. Mr. Sir, thanks to the 51-month sub. And the Pebs with the Tier 1 sub to Cowgirl Steve. Yo, thanks, guys. Good morning. Yeah, we got that DVL. So I killed Sturman yesterday. And when I was going to loot Sturman... There was a dead PMC with like a DVL and a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, sadly, I lost a lot of that kit. Somebody was camping the Jaeger message. Um, so, yeah, kind of sucks. I ended up dying. But any good loot, uh, any loot spawn nerfed on Ground Zero? I never, I never found Ground Zero to be a good um, loot map at all. But... Yeah. <clears throat> what was the issue with your PC on Friday? Uh, the liquid cooler failed, as suspected. I mean, if, uh, if you turn the PC on and it says it's 105 degrees Celsius, that's a cooling problem for sure. Yeah, I think... Uh, I don't really know exactly what happened. I, was, I think the pump just stopped working. I feel. Pump died. Yeah, I believe we made Doodles dyslexic because five years ago was not like this. What are you talking about? Yes, it was. Trust me, ask my friends. Before I was even streaming to a large audience, my friends were convinced that I had dyslexia. So, and I know deep down. Just ask my grade three teacher, okay? She'll tell you. <laughs> She'll tell me. Yo, Bug-Eyed Ben, thank you for the Prime 39-month resub. You have friends? Surprisingly, yeah. And I'm married, too. Shocker. Insane. Yeah, I would say um, 
the only thing that's changed with me over the last maybe five to ten years is I've definitely got more comfortable with sharing uh, my personality with my live stream. You know, one hundred percent flexing on a Tuesday, bud. Sadly, AIOs don't last when you stream like Doodles does. I mean, I haven't had too many issues. You know, I, I would say over the last 10 years, I've had uh, two cooler problems. The Corsair uh, ADI and the one that Intel sent me, which was a thermal, I think it was a thermal, thermal take. But the thermal takes are known for not being like super high quality. So... Do you feel like streaming and the love of video games became a job? No, not streaming. I love streaming. Fucking 100%. I love waking up every day and turning the stream on. It's like, I love it, man. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> um, the extra stuff, the bureaucracy, the politicking, the social media, the clout chasers, the all that kind of extra shit that you got to deal with, the emails, the eight, like, you know... That stuff, not I'm not super big on, but you know, it's what it is. That's that's where the job is. The editing, that's that's where that's that's the job. This is the fun. So the worst part is having to engage in Twitter. I don't have to. Yeah, I, I could choose not to. I I don't often. I've definitely been scaling back since my son's been born with everything really. So focusing on the things that I enjoy more, which is this stream. The uploading to YouTube. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, yeah, you know, the time that I would usually have to sit down and edit is now being uh, prioritized for my son. But that's precisely why I'm streaming to YouTube right now because um, my YouTube guys now have like the, the high quality 1440p VODs and. For people that don't uh, watch Twitch, but they, they're missing me, me, this is a good intermediate solution. Um, okay, so we actually have like a reasonably decent spawn here, but... Oh yeah, we got some Gluhar farmers. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Professional streamer. Oops. Well, I mean, we would have had a, a pretty decent spawn, but sadly, we got some uh, some chads in front of me. So we may have to just like take her easy. Also, I'm using subsonic, uh, like really bad five seven ammo. How many raids did you do after your Sturman kill yesterday? Uh, not many, not many. Probably th four, three, four. Yeah, like we had some, I was able to find some really good stuff, but I am struggling finding meds. So um, going towards the med spawns have been extremely dangerous for like a number of reasons. Either I don't have the medication or the weapons to deal with the scavs that are going to push my tag and curse character, or there's been a lot of PVP like unfolding in the specific locations where I've been trying to go. For example, like what's happening right now, like... Sadly, there just happens to be like some people looking for Gluhar in the tents. So, and I need to like kind of cross the opening here just to kind of get to where I want to go. You found that Letty in the crack house yesterday. Yeah, actually, Streets of Tarkov would be a pretty decent map. Um, 100%. Um, I'm just trying out a different strategy here. 
Is the game is the chat muted? Well, I'm wearing a helmet with no ears, so it's probably going to be a bit more quiet than normal. Yeah, I got to run past the night building to my right. Oh, I heard a pop. Probably a player. This is the building I want. Black Knight. There we go. All right, so the number one priority is matches. Oh, please don't be anybody in White Knight. Oh. Oh. It's so dark in here, I can't see. I'm just going to crab walk through this building. Crab walking now makes noise again. Oh man, Nikita worked fast on that. So I guess there's like really no way of being covert in this game anymore. That's a good keep. Just don't touch the keyboard. I guess so. If only the audio pop was fixed. Yeah. Hard drives for backpack. Is that barter still in the game, actually? I don't even know. I actually don't know if it is. Now, as good as this suppressor is, I'm pretty sure this is the, uh, yeah, it is. The 227 suppressor, which would go on the flea market for a pretty penny. Um, it's going to be brutal, but I'm going to have to drop this. <laughs> At some point. Same thing with the 50 round mag here. Um, but anyway. Yeah, the HDD barter is still in the game. Okay. Yeah, sadly, it pains me. I can move through the building like this. Oh, you'll need the HD for the MP133 rail for gunsmithing. Gotcha. Sneaking actually working was the best bug ever. Yeah, I feel like I would love to see some reworking on the stealth mechanics of this game. Definitely tied to your overall weight. Which, I mean, the more heavy you, you are, the more noise you make. But there, um, there just is a direct cutoff between... If a player can hear you, or if a player can't hear you while they're wearing contacts. Ugh. Dude, I think those SAS drives... I don't know if I need them, uh... Oh, okay, there's matches, so... Yeah, there's Wilson's. I forget if we need these for security or not. I actually can't remember. 
But yeah, they could we could sell them the peacekeeper. But I don't know if I'd sell it to peacekeeper. I think I'd sell them to fence so we can get the uh so we can get rubles for services. Streaming on YouTube, Deli. What happened to Twitch? Go go check it out, my man. <laughs> go check it out. Rubles for services? Yeah, like healing and repair services. Yeah. Yeah, I could have done this a long time ago, but I feel like the time is right. It's official. Deadly's a YouTube streamer now. Nah. I would say what I've learned over the course of this adventure over the last couple of days is just how far behind YouTube really is in the game of streaming. They are they are ahead in the uh with the the actual YouTube player itself is really really good like the video quality so that's why it's like hey if you want to watch for the VOD people on Twitch you guys should just go to YouTube because the VODs are going to be higher quality and then also if you're you know you can pause and rewind and stuff like that's the best part everything else is way behind their community features, their live chat features, discoverability, content curation, all of it. The whole thing is, like, way behind. Like, they haven't really made any good advancements in the past 10 years, it seems. In that regard. Alright, I, sadly, I gotta drop it. Fuck, that's good, too. Double sass? Yeah, I think I'm going to drop the sass. The SAS drives. Yeah, that's good. These plugs are a barter. I kind of forget which one, but I just... I remember it being like a barter I wanted to utilize. Same thing with the, with the, with the lighters. So sadly, the SAS drives are going to have to go. Just get a bag. Uh, no, because I want I want to see if we can sneak down the rat hole. SES drives for armor plates. Uh, we don't have that unlocked anytime soon. Someone. I feel like that's just a scav. In the building. Because I heard a scav out there. I think I'm going to pop a painkiller. I'm going to go off the roof. No! What? Where were we caught? No, that's devastating. That's actually devastating. Oh man, the thorax, the upper back with what shot? Oh no! That's terrible! Oh no! That was like my first actual good attempt at getting some painkillers and meds out of a raid. Oh, that's so annoying. We got like long range slugged in the back while falling from the sky. Oh, that's a damn shame.
Yeah, this has been an interesting uh, turn of events. I've been able to kill a uh, Sturman and extract with a Lead X before I could get any medication out of a raid, which is leading to become a uh, major issue, um, as you can expect. Having zero medication is a massive problem, and it's getting me killed. Um, yeah, I got a couple ideas there. Uh, we, we, there's a couple of strategies that, um, that I'm going for. A couple of strategies. We can go for, um, we can go for the next one. I mean, you do have some cheese. I need painkillers. Painkillers are big. Painkillers are big. Yeah, streets would be fine. Um, streets could be like very dangerous, though, if I don't have body armor from scav attacks. So, but yeah, streets isn't bad. Um, shoreline's good. Woods isn't terrible, depending on where I spawn. Woods is usually really good, but... Um, you know, that just depends. The pharmacies and streets? Yeah. I, uh, I, on my main account, I was a big streets goblin. So I feel like, I feel like streets of Tarkov, we may have to return there. Grow money. Thanks to the prime sub, man. Really appreciate it. Yearly reminder that no one ever has a cell phone in their dreams. I don't know if that's true, but I know I personally don't really have a cell phone in my dreams. I do. There you go. Somebody does. Yo, we got um, Nefrios. Thank you for the prime sub. Spawn of John. Thank you for the 18 month sub and clocks. Delboy. Thanks to the 30 month sub. Jens. Thanks to the 47 month resub. Rocco. Thank you for the prime 28 month sub. Bug eyed Ben. Thanks to the prime 39 month sub. And Rabtastic. Thank you for the prime two month sub. You guys have dreams? Man, yeah, I've been having crazy dreams lately. Weird. It's been weird. I am a cell phone in my dream. I have a dream and it sounds cringe, but I always have to fight a monster or zombies with a sword. But when you hit them, the sword bends and it's like made of rubber. Am I going to die? <laughs> <clears throat> it just means that there's a challenge in front of you, my friend. One of which you are not confident in resolving. You got to think outside the box. Deadly Oracle. <laughs> just start, just start uh, doing dream oracles. Just don't have a bendy sword, bud. That's right. Go, go, go get a good sword. That's deep. Man, people who can't dream must be a nightmare to deal with. Oh my god. Do you dream more during the spring due to juices flowing? What? <laughs> um, and for 299, I can tell you how to overcome that obstacle. Prime, he, is he live on Twitch too? Yeah. I'm on both, bro. I'm on both platforms. Stop smoking weed. Weed suppresses dreams. Yeah, I mean, I would say as somebody that's consumed copious amounts of cannabis over long periods of time for the years, uh, that, that's true, for, at least for me. Damn, we get to dream, anal we get dream analysis with Deadly Slob before we get GTA 6. Oh, I can't wait for Grand Theft Auto 6. I know every single streamer and YouTuber and their dogs and their cats um, are going to be playing GTA 6, but I feel like I feel like there's going to be some good potential there for some great fun playing it our way in this community. So, got to ride the wave. Yeah, well, on a game like that, you just uh, got to set your expectations. 
I feel like you would be fucking hilarious in GTA RP. Maybe. Deadly, do you drink? Socially, I'm a social drinker. You know, in my early to mid-20s, probably drank a lot. Late teens, probably drank more than I should. But I never had a problem with drinking. I never woke up wanting to drink. I never... Uh, in fact, it was quite the opposite. After a night of drinking, I woke up never wanting to drink again. So... <laughs> And then the next weekend would come and I would probably have a couple of drinks. But yeah, I was never, uh, I was never a daily drinker, but I would probably drink every weekend in my, in my late teens, early 20s, mid 20s, maybe every other weekend. It's called the moral hangover. Yeah, I just felt like complete ass. You ever get a little tore up, bud? <sighs> There's been some nights. It's been some nights. No, the most drunk I've ever been on stream was definitely the St. Patrick's Day stream of 2022. That or back in the early days of Twitch, I did shots for $5, which was, oh God, such a dumb idea. Man, I rewatched that clip last week i haven't seen that since it was clipped and man i was smoked dude you're not i don't think you're really allowed to get that smoked on twitch but man oh man i got a bottle i got a fucking bottle in my hands bring it back drink responsibly okay let's start this is actually precisely where i wanted to go but i need to kill a scav so um, early morning. I don't know if I can actually do this jump with no strength, but we're about to find out. I can. Santa Claus. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's like, sometimes there's a player that runs up through this open swamp. Chimney Goblin? Oh yeah, Chimney Goblin for real. But yeah, we need to eliminate a scab and take its backpack and rig. So. Okay. I don't really know how far away we'll need to be in order for the scavs to actually spawn in the village. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, so guys, I'll just kind of open up with giving you guys a synopsis of what we've done so far today. I opened up with the Jaeger message, so I was able to grab that, no problem. Uh, my next raid, I went to reserve, and one of the strategies for us getting matches is by hitting the filing cabinets in Black Knight and heading towards the rat hole. So after successfully looting Black Knight, I heard some movement directly below me. So I wasn't sure if it was a player or not, so I jumped off the top. And while I was falling to the ground on painkillers, I got lead... Or I got lead slugged shot, or Polyvian slugged shotted from a scab into the chest while falling from the sky. It was outrageous. So now here we are. Over to Shoreline Village. A great place for us to get precisely what I need. But I probably should have taken a vest. So we need to kill a player or a scav for me to really do anything meaningful here. 
But I'm also kind of just waiting because sometimes players like to rush the village from over in the swamp spawns. But I feel like enough time has probably passed. So. Just go to tunnel? Well, I mean, I'm just kind of chilling for a second. Born in 1995? Nope. No, sir. The summer of 1995, the Finnish amateur champion, the rally Finnish amateur champion, the summer of 1995 was a good summer, man. It was a great summer. All right. See if we can find a scab over here. And honestly, we are dangerously close. This is a great screenshot, by the way. Uh, we are dangerously close from having to do naked raids again, which I'm kind of sad, but... It is what it is. Because I got no meds, and I'm, I'm going to be done of throwing away our we <clears throat> I'm going to be done throwing away our weapons. That was a great scav. That was perfect. Let's see if there's some other ones. No, this is all we need. This is all we need right here. All right. Ooh, food and water is really bad right now. Yes, 209 with what? FMJ. Makes me kind of sad, but that's alright. Alright. Yeah, we're going to the grocery store. Sweet. At least it has a stock. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I think our modes and ammo is actually so bad that I probably would prefer to run the 209 most of the time. Uh, there's another can of Tashanki, so we'll, we'll probably have to eat that. Worst case scenario. Man, I do like hardcore, though. Like, it is... It is really fun because you're just in a perpetual zero to hero challenge, which is really nice. Just like playing the game on hardcore settings is actually like to me anyway, it's like very rewarding because like I care. I care about like pretty much all the bullshit scraps of loot, like looting uh, like duffel bags and stuff. And yeah, I would like to kill some rogues on lighthouse. Yep. Because I get shot so much killing rogues on Lighthouse by the rogues, I feel like in order for us to have a lot of success with that, um, I'm going to need a few more kits. And specifically painkillers. I'll, I'll need some painkillers. But yeah. I like to... Um, I would like to do that. I Like, the strategy for that is pretty simple. I mean, farm sniper scavs on woods. Get a bunch of, like, SV-98s and... Mosins and whatnot, and then... Sounds like just a scav. Ooh, maybe not. Ooh.
Ooh, maybe not actually. Sound like two. Three. Probably just a scab. Sounds like scabs. Scavs. Sadly, there's like three of them, and I have no body armor. Try to get a better angle. Just one tap him. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, I'm curious to see if we can get these guys to get triggered into covert movement mode. No, I don't think it's totally silent anymore, people are saying, but I don't know. I haven't tried it. There he is. Shit, he's like in there. You fucking cunt. Whoa, Sergey! Lay down your weapons and give up! Hmm. Never mind, we still got a work to do. All right, making a little bit of noise here. We got Zagussi. Okay. Yeah, I need some water bad. The Zagussi, bro. Bag and bag, sack inside of sacks. Yeah, let's see if we can find some water. Oh, 
Thought I heard some movement. Alright, I'm gonna have to go into the store. I hope no one's behind me. Uh, power, okay. I don't know if we're gonna get lucky. Okay. Well. Sadly. We're gonna have to hope to find some water on these guys. I'm not going to take the Gexes. Scope in my butt. Yeah, Herring sadly doesn't give me what I need. Um, the tubes are really nice. Okay, hold tight. Oh, is this? Oh, this is my butt. Um, yeah, sorry. Shit, I'm like running out of time here for water. Four water. Probably should have checked the stashes behind. I'm sure... I'm sure we can. Find some. Probably should have checked the stashes behind. Oh. Player. He heard me. I have to try. Fuck. Got him. Please have water. Oh no, there was two! Fuck! Immediately one clicked. Sorry, I had to go for it. We're de dying of dehydr dehydration. I had to go immediately for the loot. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> that was a good kill too, shit. Damn, GG. Yeah, I yeah, we had no choice. Like, I had to try to search his pockets for water. We were dying. I feel like uh customs would solve all your problems. I mean, every map would solve all my problems, really. Like, um, the only thing that like frustrates me when people say that is because like I could be on that map and then somebody could say uh, Shoreline Village would solve all your problems because, like, I, I get everything I need with the with the backpacks, with the secret stashes, with the filing cabinets. It's just if I if I loot the thing and I don't get it, then it's I just lose the RNG battle. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So, like, like things if you're searching the right containers and they're not spawning, it doesn't necessarily mean that other containers in other locations on other maps are going to grant me what I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, the only exception to that rule would be something like this, or like a very specific key spawn of some sort. 
you know, it's that's just the way it works. Um, I have this Adar. This should work. Um. Okay. L a little Adar action. Little Adar action. I'll take some cheeses in. Because that's all I got right now. So yeah, fair. Uh, some sadly, guys, we have some unsuccessful raids this morning. Um, I got killed by a scab while trying to go to the extraction on reserve with what, exactly what we needed. And then uh, I just ran to two players. I only spotted the one. I was able to kill the first player and then frantically searching his backpack for water while dehydrated. I got nape-shotted by another player. Um. All right. Let's roll. Oh, no insurance. Almost insured. Out of bad habit. What's up, Deadly? You also recently had twins. Good luck. And congratulations. Yeah, twins. That's that's absolutely wild. <laughs> Yo, we got France. Thanks to the Prime sub. Dirty Gibson. Thanks to the 23-month resub. We need an online society in PGA 2K23 so we can have tournaments, seasons, and whatnot. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, I would like, we have to do that sometime. Although I don't play the game often. It's like uh, for a week or two every couple of months. So it wouldn't be something I would maintain uh, very often, but we should. We got Vega. Thank you for the 23-month resub. Backfire. Thanks to the Prime 7-month sub. And... Uh, Nithid, thanks to the 38-month resub. I was so hyped I have Xbox Game Pass. You saw PGA being added, but it's the other one. The 2021 one? Yeah. Oh, or you mean the EA one. Oh. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Billy Brast, thanks to the 32-month resub. The EA one. Yeah, I mean, the EA one's fun, but it's not as, um, it's not as intense as the PGA T 2K one. It's a lot more forgiving. That direct reaction of good luck. It would be, dude, I feel like in the long run, it would absolutely be worth it. But in the short run, you know, that's... I, as somebody that has just like got out of the newborn stage, uh, that times two would be, you know, you're 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 doing it. It's just, yeah. I'm sure you'll be fine. It's not hard, it's just tiring. That's the that's the difference. Just tiring. But but tiring makes it challenging. I feel like everything else is uh like it, it, everything else, it's is more work. Yeah. Are we going to be doing a Masters watch along on Thursday, Friday this week? No, no, no. I don't. I don't really watch golf on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, I'll only watch golf on the Sunday if it's close between at least two people, because then there's like some intensity to it. But when people are just like grinding out the points. Um, I find like Thursday, Friday is just for making the cutoff. And then Saturday, Sunday is when the battle begins. It all counts, but you know. Tiger is in Augusta. Tiger though. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. A fair weather fan. All right, we're back to Woods. See if Woods can deliver, deliver us from evil. Because sadly, today has been shrouded in tough. And I forgot the A55, so that's not good. So we got, we got nine shots in a dream here.
Listen, nine shots is better than no shots. We're very close to being back to no shots. Man, that last PMC kill was that was a good kill too. It sucks he had a buddy. The last two PMC kills I got were really good kills, but yeah, we we just killed the dude with like a busted 209 with FMJ rounds, and he was geared, but I was also dehydrating to death. So instead of like playing it slow, I frantically tried to get to his backpack to see if he had any water, and uh, the moment I went prone, I got killed. Scavs? It's kind of what I'm after. I'm also looking for some snacks. Goons? <laughs> Dude, are the goons on woods? That'd be hilarious. All right. Yeah, good bag. Oh, oh, you know what? Actually, for woods, um, the slugs are kind of preferable right now, so I'm not super mad at that. Back to the hole. Okay. Fold the rig. <laughs> Alrighty. So, again, we need some matches or something. That's what we're really after right now. I actually don't even know what's at the... Um... Oh, red flaming. Those are not the right uh, uh, pliers, my friend. Fourteen forty P actually looks good for the stream, dude. I know. Looks great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The convoy would be perfect. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried that somebody from Musa Camps is going to pop over to this area right now. But yeah, convoy would be really good. Yeah, I haven't been able to get over to the fob yet. 
And I don't think this raid will be able to either because of the spawns. So I think uh, we'll have to be a USEC camp guy. Um, a bit of a USEC camp uh, guy, this raid. Scav or PMC? I can't tell. The timing would be good for a PMC, so... Ooh, fuck. Could be a player, actually. Eh? Nope. Ooh, that was kind of a cool kill, on a, even though it was a scav. It's like it was like a it was like a ricochet. All right, well that's it for the Adar. Its usefulness has expired. Keep the optic? Yep. Got the optic. <sighs> Fuck. Couple more boxes, and I think we gotta dip out of here. Um. All right, screw. Ah, uh, no. Let's go to the convoy right now. I feel like if someone's in the area and they heard those gunshots, I want to get out of here, move to a different spot. Not gonna go into the basement. No, 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 no. Because I feel like if there is a player that heard the gunshots and they're gonna be pushing over, I don't want to be down the basement and get ambushed. It's been a really bad day. So far, um, so we need a we need a we need a dub on the board. The only thing that we've really done today was get the Jaeger message, which was great, but that's that's literally it. So last raid, I got ambushed by two players. I didn't know it was two. I killed one of the players, but I got killed by the second while looting his body. Yeah, painkillers is huge. Yeah, we're basically... We're pretty much back to doing naked raids at this point. Um, after this. But, you know, those could be fun. You know. Hunting down a weapon. Okay, uh... In terms of risks, we're going to have to start risking it. So, uh, you said camp, we go. I'm hoping anybody that would be pushing for lead X's would have already hit the spawns and then dipped and left some of the uh, other med crates. So, yeah, we're, we're going downtown risk town right now. All right, see what we get. Nothing. That sucks. Oh yeah, someone has definitely been through here.
Where's the milk? Didn't I grab the milk? Okay, we're gonna eat the O flakes and then drink the milk. We're gonna have cereal. All right, sweet. Ration supply box, anything? Just croutons? Hey man, desperate times calls for desperate measures. I'll take the croutons. Oh yeah, this has been picked apart. I mean, so whoever picked this apart... I'm gonna take that. Definitely uh, would have heard my gunshots. I mean, everyone would have heard my gunshots, but these guys would have been close. So I'm kind of curious on where they would have gone. Matches? Please? Nah. Balls. Got a bunch of stuff on me that I don't need. Oh! Dude, from behind me. Was he there the whole time? I think he was there the whole time. I think he must have been. Because we, I didn't hear him run up on me at all. So he must have been like, maybe on the tent? I don't know. Maybe? Oh yeah, this guy was rolling. I mean, I don't know. Maybe on the tent, maybe not. It's hard to tell. He would have been, uh, you heard metal? Ooh, I didn't hear anything. Oh! Well, fellas. Back to rags. I think that's enough of uh, risking any guns that we have. We sadly are back to nothing other than our knife. We have to do knife raids. Rough go today so far? Oh, it's been horrible. Yeah, it's been really tough. <laughs> We've accomplished nothing um, other than get Jaeger, which I didn't even see what we got from Jaeger. I don't think it would be too much. Uh, a backpack for soap. Actually, not too bad. Snickers bars for ba- Actually, this is pretty good. Because, like, I'm, I'm kind of, like... I'm kind of hurting on, uh... Kind of hurting on things. Dog tag case for a VHS and a mill. What? Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, the 30 millimeter ring mount is uh, not bad for weapon safe keys. We'll need those. So this is probably going to be used a lot, actually. We got the three nips for the CMS kit. That's big. But what else do we got here? We got two energy drinks for body armor, three half masks for packas. We got the marksman raven for the Cora. Toilet paper for the geishas. All right. Toilet paper for the Gagish. Okay, well. We're naked. I have, I have, well, we could, we could bring a Mosin in. We're not like completely naked, I guess. I would like to keep this for Punisher. I feel like keeping this for Punisher is worth more than actually taking into a raid and trying to get something. Okay, let me repair this. Actually, I want to I want to turn in for the quest. All right. Oh, wrong PM is always. I thought the uh the the threaded counted now. I could be wrong though. 
Please lower the risk play. You're on high traffic places. This is painful. No, I'm not. The first death, we were um, completely good. I looted White Knight. We had the whole building. We were good to go. I was running towards the extraction, and I got slug-shotted from 100 meters away from a scav while falling in the sky. The second, I was looting the shoreline village early in the morning, so we queued in at 5 in the morning. It was super quiet, and then we had players come at us, and I was able to kill one, and then it got sniped from like a good distance away by another player while looting him. And then third, that was the riskiest spot, but, you know, we got to try to find some meds. You know, I think, like, the big med locations, there's always going to be some sort of traffic, right? So, there's, uh, I don't think there's any way that we can possibly completely eliminate risk. Yeah, okay, so, interchange? Oof, we're going to be tagged and cursed, and I can't really... We don't have a whole lot in the pockets here. Um, interchange isn't bad for loose guns, though. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to, I'm trying to piece together a plan. Yeah, but we're going to be tagged and cursed in interchange. And there's a lot of scavs in the middle. So we need, a, we need a gun for sure. You got guns in your stash right now. Uh, I could bring the infantry. I could bring the Mosin infantry. Yeah, customs, uh, customs crack house is way is probably the hottest option on the table. Uh, we don't have enough ammo for the VPO. I still got gear fear. Well, I'm trying to like keep some kits together. Trying to keep some kits together. Way easier to hide interchange. You can't hide from scavs when you're tagged and cursed. Yeah, streets, there's a couple of um, interesting choices for streets. But the number of loose gun spawns, I'm just trying to piece it together. Inside of the BSG office on the weapon racks and on the walls. But those are usually, that's a high traffic. That's a high traffic spot. Um, yeah, you sit camps. If we're going naked, you sit camps on woods again, not to like keep it rolling, but woods is pretty, pretty good for finding some loose weapons. But we would have to get lucky and hopefully no one traffics through there. There are three M4 spawns at USEC that spawn loosely. Uh, factory, if we hide on factory, I haven't tried that actually, and that might be kind of funny. If we hide on factory, wait it out a little bit, and then attempt to loot some scavs, that is extremely high risk, but really fun. The scavs will rush you. They will, but I would need to hide in a very specific spot where the scavs that are rushing towards me would run into the other players. Which could be funny. <laughs> might, be, pre might be pretty funny. I'm trying to think here. Um, on streets with a relaxation room. That's what I'm saying, yeah. There, there's weapons in the building. Yeah, that's why I, I just mentioned that. That was the first thing that I actually mentioned. All right. <laughs> we okay. You know what? Let's just let's just go. Let's just let's just go in. Let's just go. Let's just see what happens. The problem with the factory will be the extraction. Uh no, I don't think so. The problem with factory is going to be tanked and cursed and having no meds. I'm actually, I actually think the scavs are going to be more annoying than the players, for sure. I mean, the players are going to be annoying, but I mean, 
we're gonna get chased down by by three scabs. If we had a better melee weapon, this wouldn't be that bad, actually. I don't know how many slashes it takes to kill a scab with a knife, though, or how many stabs. I think it's 18 for a stab, so that'd be two. No, it'd be three. Scabs have 40 HP on the head slot. You take three slashes to the head, two right clicks to the face. Okay. Two right clicks to the face and one left click. Oh, God. Uh oh. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, slicing them up with a knife. Beeline it to the med tent and hide in the gate. That's bad. That would cook. That's that's exactly what my plan was actually. This is gonna suck. Yeah, no, it's gonna suck. But we'll see what. We'll just see what happens. Other other than that, I um, not to like constantly replay Woods, but Woods is definitely our best map for just trying to find loose guns. From the three M sp uh, M four spawns to the weapon rack and scope shack, um, it's definitely the best one. But we've been playing a lot of woods, so yo, we got Matt and Tonic. Thanks to the twenty one month sub. Welcome back, Earl of Squirrel. Thanks to the tier one sub. Just gotta get weapon butt stuff from scab booties. That's that. That's kind of what we're doing. We're we're hoping that we can chill in a factory for a little bit and wait for the chads to eliminate some scavs, and then once the dust has settled, we are gonna try to scurry out of our rat hole and scavenge what we can. That is the current plan. Ooh. Honestly, great spawn for us. All right, let's just sit here for a second. <laughs> this brings me back to the old days, actually. Listen, one one of them did die, but but not not from us. But there was a team kill that happened fourteen thousand. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah, see, as you can see, tagged and cursed is quite efficient at eliminating people doing exactly what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> oh my god, this is so fucking funny. Um, all right. You slashed that dude, though. I mean, I did slash one guy, but it was definitely the uh, three people. Oh! Oh, dude, you're, you're, you're hoping that it would say uh, James super shattered himself? I'm sorry, James, but... But thanks for the $2. James is back with the super chat. The what? The super chat? God, good one, James. Nice chat. Good chat. Yeah, we're, we're, we're in trouble. Right now, guys, we've had a really difficult start to the day. We did get the Jaeger message out of Woods, but that's about all we accomplished. We are out of medication. Completely out of medication. We got no painkillers. We lost a, most of our guns. We basically have to start from scratch. I can, I, I might as well bring this Mosin carbine in. We can bring the Mosin in, and uh, that's all I got. Mosin in a dream. <sighs> we could do something like this, but if I'm going to run a Mosin, I might as well just like go go naked. Got to got to embrace the early hardcore suck. Yes, we did get a sick PMC kill though today, which was awesome. Yes, Mosin man. Yes, Mosin man. Take me by the hand. So I'm just trying to think about what we can do here. Yeah, I mean, streets streets might not be that bad. It just depends on where we spawn. And getting to our exfil. 
it might be a bit of a challenge. Uh, we can also go to ground zero. Ground zero might not be a bad idea. Um, ground zero, we get a lot of PvP. But if we could just like chill a little bit, it might not be too terrible. I'm going to go to ground zero. We got two AGS kills yesterday on ground zero. I just think in order for us to maximize the ground zero potential, we, instead of going hot and heavy at the very beginning, I do think we have to chill. Yeah. There's a lot of PvP at the very beginning. But you are incapable of chilling. Listen, I had there was I that's what I was doing last raid. It's just three scavs were inside of each other as like a mega zord of scavs. They were like they were one. The Scav Hydra. Yo, we got uh, Brovely. Thanks to the 37 months sub. Doc Van uh, Decency. Thank you for the four months sub. Uh, Shuni. Thank you for the prime sub. Matt and Tonic. Thanks to the 21 months sub. Earl of Squirrel. Thanks to the uh, tier one one year sub. Graymorn. Thank you for the prime 29 month resub. Yes. By our powers combined, we are Captain Scav. Yes. That is correct. Yo, General Mills, thanks for that 16-month resub, man. Mr. Massacre, thanks for the 27-month sub as well. How'd you like Bellwright? Can you say River Reed three times quickly? Dude, Bellwright was interesting, but... Um, my only worry with Bellwright is they're not really creating anything new. They are essentially just taking RimWorld and making it into like a 3D medieval experience. But that sounds really cool enough where it's piqued my interest. But um, I'm going to be 100% honest. It just, uh, everything just seems a bit cheaply put together. Um, like the AI voices for the villagers just really take you, takes you out of the experience a lot of the placeholder stuff feels like very um, like asset story. Um, they got some really good ideas, though. But it's got a long way to go. It didn't tickle my pickle. I mean, it certainly tickled my pickle. It's just, uh, it's, it's not done yet. It's not done yet. It piqued my interest, but... Yeah, like it could, I feel like it could be really good if you had like 20 like people that you were managing and the resources were like you create your own little village where it's self-sufficient and stuff. Absolutely. River wolves were an innovation. Yeah, like the lack of swimming and the wolves running underwater. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it was an early play test, so. We need to, I need to get back into Tarkov one day soon. Is Bill dead? No, Bill's not dead. We rescued Bill. He's on, he was, he came back down to the moon, went back to the moon, came down. No, I haven't played Oxygen, not included, no. <clears throat> was it from a company known to ditch their games midway in? I think you're talking about Last Oasis. Um, on the first day I checked out their game, people were complaining about Last Oasis, and I didn't even know that Last Oasis was a game. So I decided to jump in like, and do some research on it, and it seems like the game wasn't abandoned, from my understanding. It just took a different direction that the players of Last Oasis didn't like. So, uh, like, the most recent reviews are really negative. 
because the players the players of the game felt like the game changed into something they didn't want to play anymore it's a it's like an mmo or something so I, yeah i don't think yeah i don't think it was abandoned i think the players abandoned it after the developers fucked it that that was my understanding kind of like a like a what's that what was that battle royale game called the cult cult no what's it called start with a c forget the name Radical Heights? No, 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 not what the culling. Thank you. Not the cult. The culling. Yeah. Kind of like the culling, where the culling was like a really good idea and people really liked it, but then there was just too much fuckery going on with the with how the game played. And people people bailed. What was that game similar to Tarkov for those that got bored of Tarkov? The cycle. Oh, yeah, okay, we got a spawn here. So, this is the AGS spawn, and every time I've gone to the AGS room, someone has actually just, like, started looting behind me. Oh. Right. I got no sack. I wonder where somebody spawns here because like every time I started ripping the AGS there was a player that was looting stuff in the room behind me so they must run through the front door. They spawn under you. There's a door below. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because I was like halfway out the window and hearing the outside audio, I would never hear them walk up. Because like the way window audio works now, whenever you're near a window, you just hear outside and not inside. It's really messed up. Is there a, was there a painkiller on the table? There's filing cabinets here and computers and stuff. What's our extractions? Oh yeah, Embercom checkpoint. We also got Mira Avenue. I'm assuming, like, I've been able to grab the flare a few times, but... Yeah, I feel like it's too early for going for the filing cabinets. I think I'm just gonna chill, really. Oh, well. Hold on now. <laughs> ah, this, this is why I can't rat. Can't rat. Let's just chill immediately on the AGS. Yo, Whiskey French, what's up, man? All right. No, it wasn't. It's Wilston's. Um, yeah, I actually would love to come back to this building with a backpack. We also got some paid there. 
So, just sit still. I need to kill some scavs, though, so... He can't sit still. I really struggle. There's no scavs around here, but I need to go and move on it. Grab a scav or two and come back. Yeah, that's what I need. A lot of the scavs spawn in front of the Terror Group Labs building. Oh, fuck. I can't tell if that was a PMC or not. I actually don't know. It kind of did look like it. Yeah, there's a scav. That's still, that's fine. He looks like he has a backpack. So I'm okay with this. Yeah, he does. All right. All right, good. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Now we're a scav. Yeah, I really, yo, I, I, like, I really need to prioritize, like, pistols. Did I drop that water? Yeah, I did. I need to prioritize, like, pistols. Because, like, we're always one scab away from getting a kit. Nice, an EW. That's a Solowa. So, if I can try my best to avoid... Uh, using it, I shall. There is painkillers on that table. Good, good catch. I didn't see it there. All right, beautiful. Oh, uh, it doesn't have rear iron sights? Are you kidding me? <laughs> ah, <laughs> for fuck's sakes. It's a mackerel, bro. It's got no rear. <laughs> I think it must shoot up and to the left because you can kind of see. Yeah, we'll have to point shoot it. Oh my God. All right. Oh, matches, that's big. <clears throat> the most important barter item. 100% the most important barter item for us is matches. And will probably be matches for a long time. I'll take the croutons. So we gotta get paid... There's a lot of computers in this room. I mean, those aren't those aren't super valuable to me right now. Holy shit, yeah, there's loads of computers here. I wonder on like ground zero plus, this building must be pretty popping. Um I think I only need one wire for the quest I'm on, but, uh... Yeah, I don't think I need the smokes. I do need to go into the machine gun room for the quest, but I don't think I'm going to worry too much about that, uh... Right now. There's peas, there's food, yeah, yeah, there's lots of food in here. 
Loads of food. This map's got food all over. Yeah, it seems like it. All right. Let's go for these. Uh, light bulbs. We're going to need them for the hideout at some point, but... I actually, you know what, the, the second wires is not going to be as useful as the light bulb. But let's see if we can get some more matches. Oh, boo for peas. Okay, hold tight here. Come on, matches. I need more matches. That's a key for this map. I don't really even know what, like... Oh, shit, that's big. Okay. Well... We'll try our best to... I don't think I heard the... Uh, ooh, these are also really, really nice. Okay, we'll try our best to get to the extraction. I think... Um, the best place for us to go... Is probably to Mira Avenue. But it does seem pretty hot over there right now. Croutons... Uh, no, I don't think the croutons are needed for the Jaeger mission anymore. Or at least there's not this one. We need Iskras and large cans of beef stew. I already got the noodles. Dude, this, like... The intensity of, like, just trying to get out of these raids is so crazy. With, like, a backpack full of bullshit. <clears throat> I'm going to go around the perimeter and then get into this building, but it's it kind of seems like there could be some players in the building. I do wish you could go from here to Mirror Avenue. It would make this map so much easier. Oh, uh, yeah, there's the filing cabinets. I might hit these. Another utility key? Bowser's eat as we go. Hunting matches still? Oh, we'll be forever hunting matches. Matches barter one to one for... Uh-oh. What was that? Fuck. Was that a weapon box opening?
Hard to know. Get out? Oh, it's very challenging for us to get out right now from where we are. So that's why I'm kind of like letting things ferment. Where I want to go, we heard gunshots like only a few minutes ago. So I'm hoping that like <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can um get out of here though, for sure. I need these matches out. Dude, I'm just such a glutton. I'm just going to keep eating and drinking as we go. That propane tank would be really good. I just don't know if there's a way I can take it. Yeah. There isn't. I need to get out of this raid so we can reset. Oh, there's elite pliers. Fuck, I need those. I mean, the, the ES lamps are actually not... Like, they're just grenades right now. I mean, grenades are nice, but... We definitely need more nuts. Nuts and bolts. Yeah, I'm actually like debating on whether or not to keep the Makarov out or the Mosin. Because if I stumble into somebody, I'm going to have to try to go for a headshot. And, uh... Dude, it's, it's, not, an, it's not an easy answer. Because the Mosin, I get one shot. The Makarov, I get eight. The Maki is so much weaker, but... Oh my god, the Vodka... The vodka. Oh. I mean... Water in the pocket? Oh, water in the pocket is a trade for a Salwa. Oh, that's also a barter. These are, these are items I need too. I guess fuck the light bulb. I think this is for water, actually, so... I need the syringe, though. Syringe is required. Need a larger sack? Trust me, I'm taking whatever sack I can, I can take. Pesley's rules? No, my own rules. I, uh, it's been a few years since I've done a hardcore challenge. So this time I decided to sit down and write a rule set that I feel would actually be good for if BSG implemented hardcore to the game. So I simplified the rule set. Uh... Made it more straightforward, and, uh... Yeah, I feel like I'm pretty happy with it right now. I like it.
Missed a body? Oh yeah, there's lots of stuff back here, but I'm I'm full. So I'm full of stuff I need. And want. Dead scabs everywhere. Fuck, I know I can't. I can't. They're unlooted dead scavs. I don't know where that PMC is. Finally! Oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck, we finally got out of a raid. <laughs> oh, it's the only second raid today that we actually survived. Oh my god, all right. You got me into the three years ago, stumble on the vids, you were going through woods, uh, destroying fools, pre-inertia. Bro, those were the days, man. Those were the days. If you, you know what made it a lot easier too? All the, it was extremely expensive when a round was like 300 rubles a bullet. I remember, and like, it was, it was like, uh, I think M995 was going for like 900 rubles a round max. I took screenshots of it. M80 was like, 200 rubles a bullet on the flea market dude it was different a different time man it was a different time how long does the vodka last dude only like uh uh six uh, four minutes only four minutes just over four minutes Damn. I'm like wondering if I actually bring in like a set of painkillers this time or do I uh <laughs> All right, here we go. This is why matches are super key. And then we have emergency water ration for Solowa. We got paid for Solowa as well. So, really nice. Uh crickets for sorries. Ah, uh, here we go. The Iskras for the syringes, but I need the syringe. Yeah. Oh! Mm -hmm. Risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, so we just need a bottle of vitamins for uh, our med station. So that would be real nice. Also, our workbench here. What do we got for uh, the workbench level one? We got some piranhas. Uh, I mean, how are we getting weapon parts here? Breaking down 209s. These are going to be annoying to find, though. Like, unless we find a busted AK and we want to make a, like, a good AK. Uh, P ammo is not bad, but I just don't know how many shrimps we're going to find. RGO 28s. PSTMs. Oh, would have been really cool if you could make our, like the, this ammunition and then turn into this, am like a multi-staged thing. Um, Yeah, to me, our best, like, barter is probably just making Makarov ammo, but... <sighs> like... It's kind of shitty ammo. I don't even have fuel, but I guess I can't. I don't got gas. Impossible to start production without the without a generator. I'm not gonna make the shooting range yet. Uh, we'll do we'll do the security. Ah, oh, balls! Didn't we have a spark plug on one of our raids today? Damn. 
Damn. All right, so for pooper station, we got some toilet paper, some toothpaste, some soap, and an owl. Taco Bell gives me gas. All right. Uh, speaking of gas, I actually got to take a quick bathroom break. So sit tight, fellas. I'll be right back.
All right. A pepperoni and cheese break? Protein Pop-Tart, actually. <laughs> Which is, like, weird, but... What if he never comes back? Well, that sucks. I'm back. But that would suck. Protein Pop-Tart equals a Hot Pocket? No, it's quite literally, um, somebody made like these like 20 grams of protein pastries. No sugar, but they used the, the erythriol, whatever it's called. Have you ever eaten on the toilet? Mm. Not intentionally. You know what I mean? The smirk says yes. What do you mean? Like I grab like a, a cheese slice or like a pepperoni stick, you know, as I'm going through the motions and then like I'm probably still chewing as I enter the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? That's not the same. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to, I was trying to think about a scenario in which that would be the truth. And that's all I can really come up with. A poop tart? Wow. Um... Ooh. Wait, what? That's all I got left is 17 shots? Ugh, balls. I do feel that 17 shots in a 5-7 would be better than the Mosin if we go back to ground zero. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, two more, two, yeah, yeah. Take a full mag? I can't. I don't have the ammo. Okay, yeah, screws for heavy bleeds. The pack of screws for heavy bleeds. I left them behind last time, but this is, this is key. We got, we got screws. We got a humpback whale. And we got matches, but the humpback, the humpback whale, there's an extra layer to it because if we get to, this is, this is it, man. This is the trifecta of what we need, which is really funny. These, these items right here allow us to raid on hardcore. We got some paid and emergency water rations. Those are bonus, but this is it. Did I call it the trifecta? The quadfecta. We got the quadfecta here. Well, the toothpaste doesn't really, you know, the toothpaste is just a means to an end. It's a means of getting humpback salmon. So this would be the trifecta. You know what I'm saying? The trifecta. So humpback salmon, packs of screws, and matches are the most important hardcore items and will probably be for quite some time. That or, um, you know, paids. You know what I mean? Like paids, emergency water rat, like the whatever gets us meds. You're giggling like an imbecile in the middle of my quiet office. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go. Let's see what we can do. I feel like we should go again. You have more 5.7 mags in my stash. The magazines. I'm pretty sure they're empty, though. 
I have full mags in my stash. Oh god, I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. They're full. I'm going back. No, no, I'm saying. We did it. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. Actually, wait a second. Since we're back here, can I do the barter for the MBSS yet? No, I cannot. Oh, wait. No, I can. I can. Yes. I can. On Peacekeeper. So we might as well take the meme BS in. As well as the... There. Two full mags. We'll just leave the other one in the stash. Two full mags. A Solowa. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Chat wins again. We're rich now. Yeah, we just need a couple more raids where we primarily focus on uh, getting, getting matches and meds. We need meds today. Meds is the most important thing. I can't do anything right now without meds. We get shot by a single scav basically anywhere, and it's the end of my raid. So really complicates everything. Guns and meds. Meds and guns. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's life. <clears throat> yeah, we had some crazy kits yesterday, but I died too much, so I don't have any left. Yo, we got Greymorn. Thanks to the Prime 29-month resub. Earl of Squirrel. Thanks to the one-year sub lock of the Golden Beard. Matt and Tonic. Thanks to that 21-month sub. We got uh, Shuni. Thank you for the Prime sub. Brevly. Thanks to the 37-month sub. Doc, thank you for the four-month resub. Mr. Massacre, thanks to the 27-month sub. General Mills, thanks to the 16-month sub. Whiskey French, coming in with the 29-month resub. Thank you, Whiskey. Ghost Agent with the 50-month resub. Thank you, Ghost. All for Honor, thank you for the two-month sub. Toxin, coming in three, three years. Yo, thank you, Toxin. Cheap and Easy, thanks to the Prime sub. The Sunman, thanks to the 63-month sub, over five years subscribed. Uh, Gora, thank you for the five-month sub. Leatherhoff, thanks to the 44-month sub. Um, RSI, thank you for the 37-month sub, over three years subscribed as well. Leafen, thanks to the two-month sub. And Rodic, thanks to that 27-month resub. Thanks, guys. How was the eclipse yesterday? Oh, it was amazing, man. It was... Um, it was cra it was better than I expected. Uh, we went to a, a spot with 100% totality. And uh, holy moly, dude. It was unbelievable. I didn't expect it to be that cool, to be 100% honest with you. It, was, uh, it looked like a black hole without the event horizon. It was wild. It got, dude, it got, you know, you could see uh, I, one planet was, I, I don't know if it was Venus or Saturn. Yeah, it got dark and then the birds were freaking out. It was crazy. Birds were flying everywhere. It was like the end of the world. Jupiter? Uranus? You could see Uranus, huh? My sky gets dark every night. It was absolutely beautiful. Man, it was weird. But it was very cool. You got cucked by the clouds. Uranus jokes will never not be funny. The next total eclipse is in 57 years in Germany, and ain't no way I'm making it to 87. <clears throat> yeah, I'll be... Uh... I'll be 80, uh, I'll be 86 turning 88. Still, you know, just playing Star Citizen at the old folks' home. Still holding out, still holding out, you know, still holding out.
Sorry, uh, I'll be sorry, 86 turning 88. Somewhere in there. See, I won't remember. <laughs> Leap year. <laughs> Still an alpha. Hold note. Hold note. Skipping 87 like a boss. Going right to 88. Star Citizen and RuneScape. Yeah, it's going to be a weird day when RuneScape is done. Because, like, RuneScape has been around for so long, man. I feel like it's just... It's the game that keeps on gaming. It's the game that keeps on gaming. I feel that game will never die. RuneScape does have, like, a really interesting problem because... Uh, there's so many bots in RuneScape and bot farms to farm currencies and selling it for money, but a lot of the items and the prices are obtainable by regular players because the bots are filling the grand exchange with an influx of items. So it's like a really, it's a really strange problem. Yeah, I play Iron Man. Yep, yeah. and uh, but but still, it's a it's an interesting issue that they have. But the free-to-play servers are just nothing but bots, which is a shame. Even when the devs go belly up or whatever, there's going to be some nerd that sets up the servers again. Yeah. The next total solar eclipse is August 2026. Really? I thought it was in 57 years. Okay, um... Oh man, it's raining hard. Oh, it's this building. You know what we should do? I'm gonna go up to the... I'm, gonna, I'm going up to the 50 cal, like right now, just to get it done. Cause like, I got a quest for it. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I'm bad at that today. No music. Yeah, there we go. Please, I hope nobody AGSs it, because, like... I killed two PMCs in here at the AGS yesterday. Ain't no way, dude. It was, and then I got killed. A naked guy came into my building behind me, and uh, he had a Mosin, and I had a shotgun. And we both missed our first shots, and he was the one that headshotted me after. It was, like, so tragic. Yeah. So I never got to see what loot they had. Armor on the ground? Armor spawns in this building? Sure does. Oh, damn. down that's a backpack where's the body armor 
And now I think you see a backpack there, my friend. There's no body armor from what I can see. Oh! Oh, this is a med box too, shit. I'm gonna drop that. Oh yeah, dude, ground zero. Although we have to go up against like some players. Like, dude, I feel like ground zero is like really, 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 really good. I know you guys were saying that Pestily lights ground zero for um for the beginning of hardcore, and I feel like now I now I see why. It's the filing cabinets. Low level players. Yeah, I've had I've I have been murdered by a lot of like really, really geared players on the other maps, on woods especially. And even today, the PMC that I killed on Shoreline was extremely geared. It's just a shame he had a friend. I feel like after level 20, though, it's like... I don't know if, uh... You know, this map turns into, like, a crazy PvP map, so it's like... I feel like it goes from being really... Oh, bushes? I think. Ah, sc oh, yeah, scabs are shooting at him. Yeah, so bushes, there's like plants and stuff. He's in my building right now, yeah. Gunshot came from over there. I feel like there's somebody going for the SUV. Bit of combat piece. Yeah, I don't want to, like, push them or anything like that. <sighs> it's not my intent. Getting getting down from this position, too, means I give away my, my location. It's so dumb the automatons are back. You got to give something for the players to do. Back with a vengeance. Why wouldn't they come back? We're moving progression. Uh, they where where did they start? Did they start in like the north? Like they're trying to fight for the cyber the cyber planet, whatever the hell it's called. Cybertron or Cyber... Cyber or something? Cyber Stan? Yeah. Maybe, like, the devs were hoping that the uh, automatons would make it to Cyber Stan, and then they didn't. Shit, I was trying to do this silently. It wasn't bad. I almost got it. Yeah. Who the hell is this guy? I didn't even know that there was a safe down here. Two 
toothpaste. That's Steve. There isn't. Oh, it's locked, eh? Of course it's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? Yeah, sadly we don't really have, like, much of things that I actually need right now. Um, we have the toothpaste, we got the toilet paper, um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it right now, so, we are in a position where I could potentially, no, I didn't buy the stash space, no, no, I'm not gonna buy the stash space for this account, having EOD is already more than enough. Whenever you play hardcore, that's plenty. Yeah, but we need, we need like, we need matches. That's really what we're after, you know, or the trifecta, right? So. Really, really, really need some matches. Luger CCI? I mean, sure. Dude, I don't think I've ever been back here before. Med tools can go. Whoa, what the fuck is that gun I'm hearing above me? What? Sounds like an... Sounds like an RFB. What the fuck? Dude, I can I'm hearing outside. <laughs> oh yeah, see <laughs> secret waterfall. Welcome to the secret waterfall, my friend. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the secret waterfall. Dude, it's a monsoon out there. I'm taking it easy, because, like, this shit was happening right above me. And I want to crab walk them. But then also, I kind of want to go to the extraction, so... Whoa! Ghosts and secret waterfalls, man. Oh yes, okay. Okay. I think I know where we are. There are some filing cabinets we could hit here.
I'm trying to be as covert as possible. Ooh. Dude, what is that? Ships, like, yeah, I don't even... Matches on the desk? I think those are my... Was that a... Was that a... Was that? Matches on this? Oh, there's vitamins, though. Those are big. Yeah, those are... Those are big. Oh, yeah, there is matches. A oh, good call. Good call. Oh, yeah. Both of these items warrant an exfil. The vitamins are really big because we can make our med station now. Sadly, I can't hear outside. Someone already hit it. Um, I just take, I just wear the bank robber though. Somebody must have found a better rig and put their bank robber in here. Green flare, I don't have a flare gun though. That probably means they hit this. Nope. Not necessarily. Oh, it's fine a raid. You're right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What's with the og mag though being so spaced out like that? Those are grenades, but We'll need those coming up. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's a key for this map as well. The cash register key. Where is that place? I don't even know where the hell that is. The bank? In the bank. Are we in the bank? It's next to the Claymore room. Ah. All right, well. I'd say we're going to have to try to get to the exfil now. Same pathway as before. Underground? Now, I feel like the underground is actually... A little dodgy. Oh, there's a med. There's a med thing here. Okay. Drop the blue tapes for now. I know blue tapes are usually really good barter items, though. Dude, we gotta go full. Full glutton. That so? Listen, boys, we're just building metabolism. Cultivating mass. Fuck the parts. I don't have any splints. Ration supply pack. Army crackers are for something, but I think they're the they're they're are they for meds? Ah uh, yeah.
Oh, did somebody just launch the flare? No. That's just a bunch of chaos happening at the liquor store, I think. Oh my god, I can't hear anything with this rain. Yeah, it's at the liquor store. The vector, I know, but the vector's too hard to keep going. The ammo, yeah, the ammo for the vector. I'd rather keep the ammo for other guns that are not so, like... Ready to fire. Come on, flare. Be there. It is. Yes! Oh, it's the same as dropping it. I could just drop it on the ground. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. We got a couple. We got, we got some back-to-back. -back. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And we also completed a raid, too. Whoa! <laughs> no, no, I can't say I've heard that song before. I can't see titties anymore. On one nice spring afternoon, <laughs> the moon decided to fly up into the sun. Uh, R Randy Wrangler from GTA RP. AI music. What level has he reached? Uh, I think we're like level 8 or 9 right now. We had a really crazy raid. We had like a 16k raid that really pushed us up. I actually don't want to level too fast. Um, I like... Oh, shit! We got Tamos coming in with the 76 month sub. Do you think cucumbers look at pickles and think zombies? I don't think cucumbers can see, my friend. Or can they? <laughs> oh, shit. We got hollow points. Wait a minute. 
Uh, aren't these for something? Or am I thinking of a different type of hollow point? <laughs> Hold on. I can't see titties anymore. Uh, oh, now it's these. I think these are used for something later down the line, though. All right, we got our we got ourselves our resting place. Oh, I, I'm just missing the cash for the med station. Uh, I'm sure I got something I could sell. I'm sure there's something we could toss. So, oh, the lead X. Yeah, we'll just toss the lead X. We'll just fire that bad boy into the grave. Um, oh, the Bikizi book we can sell. But I think that's got to go to therapist. Yeah, it does. Or sorry, uh, uh, whatchamacallit there. Yeah, we can get rid of that bad boy. Um, I could probably get rid of the pressure gauge right now. I could also get rid of the terror group labs card. We won't need that for a little while. Um, yeah, we could, we could get rid of the labs card. There's the, the fine array labs cards for, um, use it. Bro, I don't know if we'd get anything up from a labs raid. I think I'd just get YOLO rushed and fucking murdered. And then we're out of a labs raid. We're out of 63k. You will regret it. Yeah, I know. I just want money and I want it now. It's my money. It's my money. I want it now. I just want it now, dude. I just want it now. I could sell the beer and the vodka. There we go. All right. All righty, all righty, all righty. So we got some, we, we don't, we need gas, but we have some avenues unlocked here. So we got uh, the car med, right? Plus the meds, the medical tools. Car med plus medical tool. Creates a CMS. We got the humpback making the car med. And we got the toothpaste making the humpback. We got we got some we got some layers here. We got some layers. Did anyone actually use JG Wentworth? I don't know. Probably. I'm sure they did. I wonder if his if he got their money. Alright, what do we got for ammo? Man, we got copious amounts. Co copious amounts of AK ammunition. Um I mean PS would probably just be fine. With some T-45s, two mags, keep it real nice and simple. I feel like that'd be fine. Quest turn in. All right, we got debut. Debut. Oh, we got we got a Mosu with some ammo out of that. That's not too bad. Okay. So yeah, what do we really what do we really need right now? The the spark plug. Okay. I think we just keep on chugging along in the direction in which we've been chugging along because it seems to be working out. So that's gonna be my plan anyway. It seems to be working. No, I can't buy anything on fence. There, I did do uh, an account years ago where you could only sell and buy from fence, but it's a really fun idea. But in practice, it really sucks, especially when you're live streaming because you guys bought all the good shit. So then I'd go to fence and there'd be nothing good intentionally. And I just 
I'd be screwed. Long snows. Thanks to the 11 month resub. Yeah, an account like that though, scav life where you just scav and sell things to fence wouldn't be a terrible idea, but. Skill issue. Only scavs? Yeah, only scavs. Yeah, where you'll only sell the fence. But anyway. Scav and use sell all button. Yeah, but what are you going to do with the money? You know what I mean? What are you, what are you doing with the cash? Buy S&P. Hookers in cocaine. Delete it. What? Why? You just did match play versus some guy twice in PGA 2K. First round, he was up one until a hole eight, and then he made a hole in one on nine, and he missed an easy putt for me to win. On the second round, you were set up by four, and then he quit. Oh, man. Imagine getting a hole in one and still losing. Oh, my God. Tragic. Tragic. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll probably end the day with a couple of rounds of golf, for sure. Uh, tomorrow, we have a sponsorship for a World War I shooter. It's not Verdun, because I don't even know if Verdun's still Verdun. It's, uh, sorry, I'm letting just, I got a text message from, uh, Shelb Ellis is trying to escape his crib already. Dude, it, it, what a progression. In a matter of four days, this guy learned how to, oh, he's like, he can't go forward in a belly crawl, but he can do everything else. So, <laughs> it's called, uh, Asanzo. As That's a great game. Yeah, I thought so. So they're like, hey, they wanted to sponsor the stream. And I was like, absolutely. So we're going to be doing a Sanzo uh, tomorrow. Like afternoon instead of golf. I-S-O-N-Z-O, I think. I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. Man, I loved Verdun. That was a good game. Even in Battlefield 1. I, I liked Battlefield 1. I didn't really like the whole Battlefield World War 2 one, though. That was a little weird. I feel like that was the beginning of the Battlefield series kind of getting strange. Battlefield 1 had the immersion. Oh man, I'm a, I'm a sucker for the immersion, dude. I'm a sucker for the immersion. Okay, we got a... Uh... We got some good meds here. What's our extractions? Mira Avenue. Po uh, Nakatomi Basement Stairs. Yes. Okay. You really need to check out the AI song Lars posted earlier. Okay, hold it then. Hold it between the next raid.
Can you go back over here? No, you or can't. Can you go back over here? Or are you gonna get sniped? I can't. I don't remember. Do you get barrier sniped? You can go back there. Or as in like you do get barrier sniped. Damn. I know you can spawn in this building, but... I actually didn't know that this was the position. I never really messed with that back alley before on this map. I actually haven't played too much Ground Zero. I mean, the first day of the wipe, I played Ground Zero. And then, um... When, the, the spring patch, I played a little Ground Zero. But I'm still, like, pretty green on this map. I know how to get around to some of the extractions, but... That's about it. Matches on the table. Beauty. That's what we're after. For the for the next little while, matches are probably going to be the most important item we can find. Oh, a little MRE. Okay. Reach kick. Hey, okay, bre little breach kick. D bat. I mean. Double A's and D bats for Mosin snipers, but you need so many of them that they're low priority. Thought I heard something. Oh, yeah, I've, we played State of Decay, like, the Marksman and I. When it came out. Um, we're also playing a couple of games this week, I think, with Mark and Pep and I. At the very least, maybe a Katie or a... I guess Cotton's not completely back yet, so... Soon, though. He will be back. I'm pretty sure Deadly can't see YouTube chat, lol. No, I can I, like I was telling you guys yesterday, I, I just will ignore you all just as much as I ignore Twitch chat. But yes, no, I can. I do read your messages. Don't worry. You guys will be uh, excluded all the same. Yep. You guys show up in the exact same way as Twitch chatters do for me. It's actually very interesting. I just can't dis I just can't showcase um like an embedded YouTube chat on Twitch for some reason. 
They just, they don't want that. Is there a plugin so we can communicate with YouTube chat via Twitch chat? Um, if it doesn't exist, I'm sure it will soon. I'm sure there's something that allows you to do that. Yeah, your browser. Yeah, I mean, if you're watching on YouTube, the first link in every live stream on YouTube is a pop-out chat to Twitch. And it will be like that forever. Where the fuck is that guy? These doors are usually closed. Oh yeah, players have definitely been through here. I'm trying to see if I can spot some scabbies. I don't know if there's any filing cabinets around here, but there is something I do want to check out in the basement. If I can get down to a certain section. Oh, that's trash. VR? Yeah, I'm never really, like, I, I don't know. I've tried VR games. I've done some stuff for, uh, like, the MetaQuest and things like that, but... I don't know. I, I, I'm not big on VR. AR, like augmented reality, I do think has a future. And I do think full simulation, like immersive VR, does have a future in certain applications. But um, including gaming, I just... Uh, I just think, we like, until there's, like, one big revolutionary video game that is just so insane that everybody wants to buy VR, I just don't really see it taking off. Yeah, I'm talking about, like, a game that, like, has the same sort of, like, cult-like effect that Fortnite and PUBG and all those big games had. Like, really just, like, industry-shaking game. The Matrix VR. <clears throat> okay Pavlov is fun to play oh yeah there's definitely fun VR games for sure but yeah I just think it's good I think we're not there yet once they can make augmented reality glasses uh, about the same width or like as low profile as wearing like a pair of sunglasses or you know the ski goggles they're getting pretty close to ski goggle size like ski goggles were fashionable like two or three years ago or no no about like 2019 so everyone was like walking around with ski goggles so I feel like you know it's gonna take a little bit of time but once that happens I yeah I feel like shit's going to be a little bit easier. The Apple Vision. It looks really silly. Yeah, Apple, Apple Vision's getting pretty close. Ah, shit. Got some gunshots. He might be going for the flare.
Dead body? Problem is, I don't know where these gunshots were, but I would love to push. Oh, yeah. Right there. Fuck. Ooh. Shit. I... Oh, I popped the flare. Ah, it's too late. He's gone. I can't even climb over a freaking half wall. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe not. Someone is shooting at him, though. Yeah, this is stupid. I'm just trying to get a little greedy with the shotgun here. Fuck. Let's get out of here. So a player was shooting at the dude that took the flare from that back alley. I'm assuming that back alley near the wine. The, the liquor store. So. I guess let's just keep focusing on the objective. I don't want to be like down in that underpass area. I feel like I'll just get shot from the top. But I can go through some of these back stairs. Like over here. This would be good. Alright, that means we gotta go to uh, Nakatomi Tower. I guess. Alright, well, fuck it. I'm gonna grab the double A's then. Uh, in until we get something that's barterable for meds. So, I guess we'll take a... Uh, start gathering some of the batteries for the Mosin Sniper. Thermometer, okay. Um, sure. Bushes. I feel like that's like up on the main street. Oh God. What happened to this guy? Well. I feel like we know what happens to this guy. <laughs> Damn. Heart attack? He fallen. And he cannot get up. Stripped clean. Covert movement. Propane tank. Uh, I don't know if I yeah I don't know if I have the barter for the propane tank yet. Dangerous place. Oh yeah. Do I for the level three body armor? If I do, that's worth it. More so than the batteries.
It says W. So WD bad. Bad. Uh, no, this is the first time I've done a hardcore account uh, in three years, though. But thank you. Thanks for super chatting, bud. But yeah, no, Hardcore Tarkov, uh, not a super original idea. I feel like if I wouldn't have done it, then somebody else would have for sure. But uh, it is my challenge, my son. Wasn't that last year? Uh, 2021, I think, was my season six. Okay, I'm going to take this. Mall's going to drop. Some of that. Just for some shotgun ammo. And I should take the vest, too. Hold tight. Getting Kappa? Uh, no, the, la the last time I did Hardcore, we went for Kappa. I don't think I have enough time for Kappa this time. This is... The sling is inefficient storage-wise, so I'm not going to bother with it. Takes up more space than what it can hold. Yeah, the VKO bag will only use it if we get the items that are barterable for it. There's this guy. Fuck. All these are really good. Uh, shit, I can wear I can put that in there. Hold on. Take, it's going to be a little bit of work, and it's going to be a little awkward, but this should fit. Yeah, it does. The 60 rounder for the quest we should take. All right, just in case we get there. I don't know if we will, but... Okay. I think I already have one of those stocks. Not bad, not bad. Dude, yeah, Ground Zero's been treating us very well right now. We need we need as many of these raids as possible, honestly, at this point. I mean, they're slow, but... Uh, I would like to hit max traders. I feel like that should give me enough time before the next wipe. But we got Manor Lords coming out at the end of the month. We got Star Citizen 3.23 at some point. Uh, those are the two big ones. That I feel like I'm going to be spending a lot of time. A lot of time. But it also, I'm just, just to play Tarkov throughout the week and have like some more interesting things for us to do in the game is uh, really the biggest reason why I want to do it. New Banner Lord. Manor. Manor Lords. Star Citizen? Yeah, 3.23 is looking real, real, real nice. Real nice. Looking real good. Manor Lords. I do have that barter at level 1. Damn. What's this? Milk and oat flakes for a sniper rig as well. And is this a 4 or... That's a 3. Okay. Yeah, the Zook front plate, not so... This is not so useful. But, uh... I guess this doesn't come with a back plate, though. I got no back body armor while wearing this thing. Only front.
Just don't get shot. Uh, vodka for a pistol. APS. Oh, yeah, there we go. So blue gunpowder to make the ammunition. And then one bolts to make an APS isn't bad. I mean, that's like a good, like, we have nothing on the table anymore. Uh, yellow pliers for the AK magazine. Okay. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Eight AA batteries and five D-bats is, uh, yeah, that's a lot of batteries for one, for one barter. That's a lot of items for that. Far too many, in my opinion. We got some Iskras, but those aren't like the good Iskras. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that plate doesn't even go on that body armor. No, it doesn't. It goes on the, the, the floral looking version of the, not the floral, but the, uh, the tan looking version of that. Anyway, cool. We got that. Cool. I'm happy. Um, here, I might as well just wear that helmet as well. And, uh, let us continue. We are slowly filling up the stash though. And I don't, in the last couple hardcore challenges, I was able to buy lucky scab jump boxes with money. Um, but I don't know if we're going to be going down that route or not. I think uh, I think we might have to just suck it up and just uh, try to get the dog tags, I guess, which is going to be a challenge. Stash Tetris. Yeah, Stash Tetris is pretty is pretty nuts. You could craft it. Oh yeah, there is a craft for it. Yes. We'll have to figure that out whenever we, uh, whenever we get there. Okay, so, number one prior- Oh, man! <laughs> thanks, Cameron. Uh, thanks for the super chat. Uh, really appreciate that, man. We got, uh, G. Hey, G. Clundies. Coming at the five community to get the subs to Ghost. Uh, Colsey. Ravo, Bob's Burger, and uh, Grovac. Yo, you guys watching, receiving a free community sub from G. Clooney. So definitely thank him for hooking you up and dropping the 64-month sub as well, the back-to-back. -back. We also got Neo. Thank you for the two years. Thank you, Neo. Beats, thank you for the Prime sub. Long Snows, thanks to the Prime 11-month sub. Tamos, thanks to the 76-month sub. We got Captain Verdosa. Thank you for the Prime sub. Uh, Remington, once again, thanks to the 1,500 bits. Big Ron, thanks to the 34-month sub. Zany, thanks to the 17-month sub. Good Strong, thanks to the 46-month resub. Sorry for being late by like an hour. It only went, thanks to the acknowledgement for my sub, it only went through 35 minutes ago. Dude, it was actually 53 minutes ago, but you knew what was up. Intense Moth, thank you for the 34-month resub. Naked Chick-fil-A Fight Club with the 14-month resub. Null Bolts, thanks to the 5-month sub. Full Send, thank you for the 14-month resub. Thank you, guys. General Conroe Wallace with the 4-month sub. And BLT Bagels, thanks to the 40-month sub. 41-month sub, thanks, BLT Bagels. Yeah, for all you guys over on YouTube, super chatting, uh, the reason why you guys can't hear the text-to-speech right now is for DMCA copyright reasons. Um, YouTube is extremely sensitive um over anything pretty much uh in fact the first stream got demonetized uh yesterday's stream uh monetization was removed but was later reapproved after so um well i do i know how to fix it um but i need to do some software workarounds because i'm doing like mainstream streaming gaming computer streaming computer gaming rig is playing the music, which is playing on both computers at the same time. The music is playing to the, to the Twitch stream, but being muted in the VODs. And the music is being played just to Twitch, but not to YouTube, so it doesn't get saved as well. So it's like, I, I, there's, a lot, there's a lot of facets here. There's a lot of things going on, but I know how to fix it. I just need some time. Uh, hopefully this evening, I'll be able to do it. So then you guys can... Quite the juggler. Yeah, quite the juggler. There's a lot going on. Um, but I will, I will solve it. I know how to do it. 
Good old uh, virtual audio cable should should help me out there. Okay. Well. I got 11. I'm going to take 11 extra bullets just in case. And uh, I'm going to take a slightly larger sack. Slight, like a slightly, a slightly larger sack. Oh, the Lars song. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Whoops. 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 This better, you know, where is it? One, two, three. I was a real goofball going just for me. Didn't want to live vicariously. During the eclipse, I copped a look, but immediately I had my damn world shook. I can't see titties anymore. I scorched my fucking redness. Goddamn shit, fuck. Now I won't even know where to suck. I blinded myself from this damn eclipse. Now I'll never get a peek of some tasty nips. <laughs> This is hilarious. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Beyonce has nothing on this. All right. All right. Okay. 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 We're taking a fucking... Listen, that's a good song. All right. Wow. That is fantastic. AI, bro. We're going to be listening to that one on the country radio station. Start, start, he's starting getting a little, you know, a little, little to just, just chatting category on Twitch. But, uh, all right. Just a little. The Country Music Award for sure. I feel like Wheeler Walker uh, Jr. should probably just do a similar song. All right, let's go. Let's roll, let's roll, let's roll. Just shatting, just shatting, dude. Just shatting. <laughs> Man, I wonder how many people are walking into the eye doctor today, though. That's crazy, man. Imagine thinking that you're above the rest of human society and your eyes are so fucking good that you can just stare at the sun. Optometrists, sorry, okay? Eye doctor. You could look at 100% totality, though. Like, uh, whenever you're in 100% totality, whenever you're looking at the eclipse, your eclipse glasses no longer work, which is kind of cool. So you could just, like, hang out and look at it. It's pretty cool, pretty neat. And it was the only cool part. Uh, when, dude, whenever the, uh, the moon was like halfway over the sun, that looks really cool. And then also whenever the moon was almost like completely over the sun and just seeing like everything get duller and then the temperature drop. Oh my God. Totality, totality or bust. Yeah, we got lucky, man. We got lucky. So like the whole thing, yeah, you basically can't uh, look at it until like, a, it's only like what, 90 seconds? 
90 seconds of totality. Dude, the probability of that even happening in the, in, is fucking mind-blowing. The fact that we live on a planet with a moon that is well oversized in our orbit at the perfect, at the perfect distance, at the perfect shape for that to happen is mind-blowing. I was like three minutes. Yeah, I took, I, I took a video, like a family video. But you can't really see much on the video, you know? You just see, like, what looks to be a black hole without, a, uh, without the event horizon. That's basically what it looked like. Did you see any titties? You got scammed by the clouds. Damn. That sucks. Guess you got to wait about another 57 years or so. Atmospherically cucked. All right, we're uh Okay, we're 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 in this building again. So, I feel like I'm going to go up. But I'm going to hang out, you know. Because uh, yesterday, the two times we spawned here, there was a player like right behind us in this building. <laughs> Let's go drink some apple juice. Rat? Rat boy? Yeah. <clears throat> Bro, you'd fuck up a glass of apple juice right now? How goes the hardcore mission? I'll give you guys a synopsis while we let the map marinate for a second. I'm just kind of letting things fester because there's a spawn that's directly below me and I've been uh, ambushed a few times. So I want to be the one being the ambusher instead of getting the ambushed. Uh, this morning, we... Well, I'll give you guys the synopsis of the whole story so far. <clears throat> Started on woods. Um, the first raid, we died. The second raid, we got really lucky, found an AK-101, got a PSO, and then we started working. Started collecting some guns, primarily. A couple of woods raids. Uh, eventually, we got onto a map with Sturman, and we were able to kill Sturman. And whenever I was going down to, to loot him, there was a dead player with a DVL and a 5.7 and a bunch of good stuff. So I was able to get the Sturman loot extracted and a sweet DVL. And we we're rolling around for a couple of raids with like a Gen 4, Class 5 body armor, a Stalker, U-Lock, AK-101, 856A1. So time came to get the Jaeger message. And I got camped on the Jaeger message. And then later on, I tried to do it again. And somebody led me at the very beginning of the raid, followed me all the way to the extraction, and uh, I was able to kill one of the two guys. They just, they waited until I was right at the exfil. So I killed one, the dude that was actually trying to kill me. And then the second guy got me. So that's what happened yesterday. So we woke up today and I immediately got uh, the Jaeger message extracted. And then after that, it was died to a scab on reserve, killed a juiced PMC with a bullshit 209, but then died to his buddy. And then we had a couple of other L's right after that. But I went back to ground zero like three or four raids ago. And we got nothing but dubs on the table. So we're extracted with some good stuff. We're, we're primarily looking for barters or items for meds. That's the current mission right now. 
So that's why I'm playing Ground Zero at the current moment, because there's a lot of filing cabinets that are uncontested. So that's why I'm in this building right now. The only reason why I'm not moving is because uh, in this building, I usually get a player jump me when I start looting right away. So I'm just like taking her easy right now. Bum, 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 bum. So that's kind of that's kind of where we're at right now. So I would say like a reasonably decent start. But um Oh yeah, I forgot. I got a lead X yesterday too from USIC camps extracted. So if we get to level 35, then the hard part of private clinic is done. Two point one mil right there, boys. Yeah, very like eerily uh, similar to how I started this wipe on my main account. Killed Sturman with a PSO AK, and got a lead X, and we did the same thing yesterday. Killed Sturman with a PSO AK and got an uh, a lead X. So yeah, the big the big ticket items that I'm looking for right now are matches. Uh, hard drives are nice, which is, oh, is that bushes? Why do I keep thinking I hear bushes all the time? There's so many computers here, it's crazy. Those damn office bushes. Yeah, hard drives for MBSS backpacks are really nice right now, too. So. No GPU spawns, though. Ah, uh, yeah, there there is on the level 20 plus ground zero, though, right? Yeah, I think it's actually impossible to get graphics cards on this map. Right? No no rare loot spawns. It's just like a bunch of crap <laughs> items. That's fine. We need crap items though. But I feel like uh I feel like this this map, the, you know, past 20 you can. Yeah, I feel like right here would be Willers did on his hardcore. Oh shit. Maybe there's just like an extremely low probability. Can't loot those computers, I guess. Streamer loot boosts 1.4. Oh, painkillers. Give me those painkillers. Give me those painkillers. Yeah, the most important item in the game for us other than weapons is painkillers. Let's us get to an extraction. Okay. I mean, we don't really have good stuff other than the... Did I loot that already? I actually can't remember. Oh, I didn't. Don't really have anything too good. So we can we can drop most of this stuff that I picked up. But I might as well just grab it. There we go. Screws are for hemostats. Okay. What do we got here? Chocolate bar for scab vests. 
I feel like I'll just kind of, uh, as a herring. I'll hold, I'll try my best to hold on to this, uh, Snickers bar. Whoa, what? Oh, flashbangs. Squirrel brain forgot where he put the nuts. Oh, I'd, I would have died there. 100%. What's this say? Oh. Lars is Boston King on Factory. Thanks, James. Thanks for super chatting. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay. Beauty. Finally got, like, some meds, actually. Get super shattered on Lars. Yeah, I feel like uh, Streets is going to be really good for us as well. Oh, I never I never came back here before. What's back here? Just a bunch of snacks? Just some tar colas? Yeah, never been back here at all. There's so much food in this map. Let's just get... Let's, we're just fucking... Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, there's Claymores back here? Where's the claymores? Dude, I actually don't know where the claymores are. I know where one one claymore is. That's it. Where's the claymore? They find you. Uh-oh. Got him? Bro, I don't even know anymore. Now you got me. Now you got me scared. All right, crank it. I forget what these are for. I, re I remember being like, oh yeah, these are really important for something. And now I don't remember why. What do we need these for? Fuel? The fuel barter? That might be it. But I feel like there but there'll be an easier way for us to get fuel. I feel like the shoreline um whatchamacallit farmhouse would be good for fuel. Dude, that guy just Is this aim point off or did he just Oh look. See that? Wow, that's... What are the odds? I was like, what is that hitting? It's pretty dark. I'll try to loot this guy. I don't even want the broken LCD.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for YouTube, my stream time is uh, Monday through Friday, starting at seven thirty a.m. It's been like that for a uh, very long. Well, seven a.m. I moved it up thirty minutes because I ended up being late thirty minutes every day anyway. So. <laughs> <clears throat> ish no no i've been very consistent at 7 30. the only day is thursdays because i got a couple extra things i got to do in the morning and this friday this friday i i'm gonna be sorry the stream a little later but that's you know schedules yeah so there's a player that was down on the sidewalk Shooting scavs. I just heard something. Heard something. Must have been the wind. A Burger King. I'm okay with that. Man, yeah, there's shots just up ahead. I don't know where the fuck the guy is, but... Somewhere around here. I mean, the scab just kind of, like, walked by, like, no problem. Oh! Yes! Hallelujah. Alright, let's celebrate. Have some, have some fish. Dude, more anal gin? Dude. It's very, dude, big. We're big on it. It's huge. I need as much as I can get. Okay, let's go. I feel like our attention skill on this account is going to be really high. Pox room. That's just like 12k right to the dealer. Zibbo, I think we need that for the fuel barter. Pretty sure it's uh, both lighters, right? Duct tape. I think I'm good for duct tape right now. Boof in the gin? I can't boof anything other than keys. Or items that hold keys. That's a grenade. Uh, okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm eating the tar the tartar sauce. Beauty. Beauty, 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 beauty. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Oh. Oh. Flare? Interesting. Is that Lupo's beans right there? Yeah, let's not. I can't see. It's too dark. You never know where that guy's going, though.
Key ring would be a very nice addition. Oh, yeah. I mean, we'll get one eventually, I'm sure. Dude, I'm, I'm actually just kind of like playing very slow for fun. Because I'm immersed. But I also... I don't know. I don't think I don't know how good it would be. I feel like people are just gonna be able to hear me doing this shit from ages ago. I'm immersed. Oh shit, he's going for a Nakatomi Tower. I think he might be gone, you know what I mean? So, or at least getting close. I want to shoot this scab, but it's going to give me away. Nakatomi Tower. Dude, he's got, listen, he's got like a sixth sense. Yeah, this thing jams. Let me just... Hold on. We are in jam territory with this thing. Playing with fire? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Rat City. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go out there and, like, try to loot that guy. What's our skills looking like right now? Damn. Not actually, like, gaining that much. You know, it's kind of a weird, it's a weird skill because I feel like it levels up slow. Shit. That was a gunshot near the, the, um, oh yeah, 1.33. What are those green things in the skill menu? It's brand new, so you can see what skills you got in the raid you're playing. Oh yeah, no, that's good. Shoot him in the heart attack. Let's see what we got. The heart attack gun? Oh, God. Chat's going off about the world ending, and you just want to watch video games. Wait, who's talking about the world ending? The world ended yesterday. Oh. We I mean, we're still we're still going. We all know that the world is on an alternate timeline ever since Harambe died. Harambe wasn't supposed to die. Oh, Scav got spooked. Actually, crazy theory. Thank you. So I don't think it's my own. I've been saying it for years, but I think other people have caught on to the signs. 
All signs lead back to 2016. <laughs> By the way, I am joking. Just so, you know. The prophecy is true. I'm not. He's not kidding. <laughs> Firm believer here. Oh. 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 Barrier sniper took somebody out. Dude, nighttime looks really cool. Okay, I don't know if the flare is still there. But I, I didn't hear anybody pop it this raid. So we will switch maps after this one, though. But we've made some really good progress on, uh, on Ground Zero. Yes! Awesome. Damn. All right. Man, we are making good progress on this map. I, I can't, like, it will be incredibly chaotic after level 20, but this is a good map for this. This is a very, very good map for this. All right, listen, fellas. I hate to do this again, but I got to take another piss. All right? And before you complain... The alternative is way more work and requires far more cleanup. So I'll be as quick as I can. I'll be right back, all right? Prostate inspection? No, 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 no. I'm just not, I'm, I'm not eating like many carbohydrates in the morning. So the water goes right through me.
I sorry, boy. Fell in. I fell in. Oh man, sorry. I fell in. <clears throat> All right. Sometimes it happens. Catheter stream. Yeah, maybe I need a urinal in my office. Peak laziness. Dry off. Okay. So what are we working on uh, quest-wise? Oh, all right. Sure. Turn in that coal pack. Uh, uh, okay, so we're working on... We're working on acquaintance. So that's Is Iskra ration packs. Uh, well, let me just open up my task listing. So we got acquaintance. We got gunsmith part one. Oh, wait, wasn't I wearing the 3M body armor? Or did I die that raid? I must have died that raid. Uh, let me take a look here. Uh, debut. So we need one more MP series shoddy. One more shoddy and one more scabby. Two more sully was. Um, yeah. So we probably need to get the generator going. Probably got it. My cousin in his garage is a tube. Dude, so my father-in-law was telling me about it. So they used a, um, back in the day, they would use a oil, like a, uh, an oil funnel. And they'd drill a hole into the barns and the shops. And then they'd put an oil funnel out the wall. And then they would just like, you know, foam it and secure it. <laughs> you just piss into the fucking oil, oil funnel. Goes outside. It's exactly what he uses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just need an oil funnel. Man, that stink, though. It smells like... <laughs> quite literally smell like piss. Um, yeah, so we still just need a spark plug. I just need a single spark plug. Just one spark plug is all we need. Which is filing cabinets. But I kind of want to switch... Switch maps just for the sake of switching maps. I think we should go to streets. Let's go to streets. We haven't been to streets yet. Um, I'm going to take this. Streets has plenty of filing cabinets. Um... Dude, you know what? I'll even bring some rubles just in case we got to take the SUV extraction out. I'll bring, what is it, 7,500 rubles to take on an extraction. How's my food and water doing? Good. Yeah, re respirator's been removed. And, um, yeah, respirator's been removed. 5,000? Is it 5,000 for streets? They all have like slightly different prices. I'll bring 7,500 just in case. <sighs> Let's roll. Yo, Jimbo Slice, thanks for the Prime 6 month sub, man. Good to have you back. Mortal Wombat, thanks for that 14 month sub. We got OBG, thanks to the Tier 1 sub. Isn't it 5? It's 5K everywhere, question mark? Oh, they're all 5K now. Oh, that's convenient. I'm still living in, with my mindset that they're all different prices. Money for the BTR2? I don't have that much money yet. If we find a Bitcoin, that would be sweet. Oh my God. Bitcoin would be amazing. Tell Doodles to keep hard drive for Gunsmith iced tea squash crackers for Tarkon key. 
Okay. No, I can read your message, James. Sorry. They unified a wipe or two ago. All cars are 5K. Okay. Okay. How was the unexpected? Uh, yeah, they were fine, Frenchie. I was just, you know, I don't, I don't like being sprung into things I wasn't uh, sure about. But it was good. It's fine. I had to end the stream soon anyway because, uh, you know, I did want to see the eclipse. Oh, there you are, Mossy. Re guys, I, yeah. Sorry for on the on the YouTube side of things. I actually can't add you as a mod until you message something in the chat. So there you go. Uh, session connection lost. Okay. You missed the time when BSG made the co-op extractions super valuable. Um, I think they should go back to that. I think co-op extractions should be very valuable. I have an idea, but maybe it might be kind of weird. But, um, you know, if you take a, a co-op extraction, you get like an item that allows you to buy something from fence. Like you get like a barter item, like a currency, like a fence currency, like an IOU slip of some sort. That would be cool. And then you get that as a reward as a, uh, and like a random group of items from fence like you currently do. Like a token. Yeah, like a fence coin or something. Maybe it's like a weird, a weird coin, like a fence coupon. Yeah, and then they just have like rotating um, items on level two fence that could be purchased for vouchers. Uh, did all the Canadians, do all Canadians call it a, a solar eh, eh, clips? Oh my God. You have to make it so people don't just spam co-op extractions. Dude, I can't connect to this raid at all, which is terrible because I have a full kit into this raid right now. Deli, did you see my sub alert for YouTube? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, for some reason, reason, memberships are not working right on the stream elements alerts. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to hit it with the Alt F4. Don't worry. What the fuck is a membership? I, I think a membership, in a, a membership is the same as a, Twi a YouTube sub or a Twitch sub. But I think... Um, Yeah, subscription is equivalent to a follow, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. It's a Costco membership. Listen, kid, I don't have much time. In 2020, they're going to release a virus in order to... Yeah, a sub is a follow and a membership is a sub, yeah. Nobody wants my member. Yeah, but memberships aren't popping up um, in the stream elements thing right now. I don't know what's going on with it, actually. How did you get the scar on your right eyebrow? Bro, you can see the scar on my right eyebrow, huh? That's how good the quality is? That's how good the quality is on YouTube. You can see my my the face detail. How the fuck? No, it's a it's a scar that goes through my eyebrow. On YouTube, maybe. Um, I was uh pushed into a radiator by my older brothers when I was two years old. There you go. Nothing cool. That's it. 
I guess you got what you fucking deserve. You get what you fucking deserve. No, it looks really cool, though. So, I guess it's worth it. I don't remember how much it hurt. So, it looks sweet. No, I still can't get into this raid after all tf 4 -ing. Rip the kit. Dude, that's brutal if we lose this kit. That'd make me really sad. Confirm leave? Dude. Are you... No, no, no. Alt F4. Clear log. There's zero music on the YouTube end. Oh, that's by design. YouTube is incredibly sensitive. By design. <laughs> Ban me if it doesn't work. Confirm of leave and your stuff is there. Well, we're going to have to here in a second because like... Yeah, no, there's a way I could do some uh, some YouTube music, but that's a whole other different thing. But it's not that hard to do. I just got to download um, some tracks from my music license and then just make my own personal playlist and just play the tunes from there. There's some really epic music, though, on Epidemic Sound. It's like they've really stepped up their game, so it would probably be better, like, lo-fi music selection to what I do typically play anyway, so. You wouldn't download a playlist. I did check out the AI country song. I made it halfway through before it started getting pretty raunchy. Yo, Toothless, thanks to the 26 month resub. This alone, thanks to the Prime 14 month sub. You're going to listen to it again. Don't lie to us. I probably will, yeah. Dude, is my, is my account bricked? Twenty six six months. Let's go, bud. Let's go, bud. Let's go, bud. That <laughs> goddamn fuck chick can't see titties. What a song. Yeah, what a song. Uh, yep. Well, this is our life now. This is our life. Loading life bugged. I mean, I can alt F4 one more time. Wow, this is hardcore. I know. Not a bad life, to be honest. Yep. Could be worse. Yo, PGA rank not looking too good for you this morning. You dropped two tiers. Oof. Uh, I think I'm, uh, I'm par one, I think. Yeah, I'm par one. You love the YouTube stream. It's beautiful and you can rewind. Yeah, no, it is. It's great. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to work on a, a copyright free music playlist of music that I like. Um, I have to download a media player, though. I haven't, uh, dude, I've only used Spotify for years. I like, I don't even, 
It's like, what year is it? Winamp? Is that is that good? Winamp? Is that what you guys use? VLC? Can you make but can you make playlists in VLC? I need to make playlists. I have VLC, I just never bothered to make playlists in VLC. Ever. Can you not add files to Spotify? I actually don't know if you can. Can you can you have local playlists on Spotify? You can. Oh. Well, I'll just do it that way. You can add local stuff. Gotcha. There you go. I'll just do that then. It's like, it, it is kind of weird that our YouTube audience doesn't get music. So. The only time that you guys won't get music is when we play SnowRunner. Or something adjacent to that. But that's fine. You gotta come over to, to Twitch to watch those ones. Not nah, fuck the YouTube. No, what we're listening right now, Edge, is essentially the same. Like, this is... I'm not listening to anything that's, like, too crazy right now. I have music licenses that I play from time to time. It's just the, uh, the curated playlists for my music license. They all got removed and remade. And I, like, lost a bunch of good ones. Okay, well, I think my account is bugged. Play the pep score to you. Oh yeah, we'll put the peps the pep score on there. Absolutely. Put the Beakley music tracks in there. I'll add it to my list of things that I gotta do. There's like three top priority things that I wanna do. They um get the split audio for the alerts. Get someone to make some 84 month plus sub badges. And then get the get the music playlist. Those are those are my tasks for the week. All right, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna confirm leave, and I hope I get to keep my account. <laughs> Is that tape on your headset? Yep. I have an exact replacement waiting and ready to go. Yeah, the sound quality is not, uh, it's, it's not, uh, it's, it's perfect. It's just a little tape, bud. It's just a little tape. Maybe I should put some electrical tape on there. It'd look a lot cleaner instead of just fucking scotch tape from the dollar store, but gamer tape. Wow. All right. Well, that was, that was a lot of work for nothing right there. Jeez. Golf time? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. You can't find a game either. Servers are fucked. If if it happens again, we can always go and we it can always be golf time anytime. I like the super casual approach to hardcore. I feel like I have like a lot of fun, very clear objectives to complete in my raids, regardless of PvP. And uh, when I'm done for the day, we just play something else. I feel like feel like it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think this Thursday we're doing some games with Markstrom and Pep. At least that's the plan right now. Plans can change, but you're gonna have to confirm leave deadly. It's scary, but you'll be okay, brother. We're living in a different reality right now. You're you're a few minutes behind there, my friend. Man, did you just at Kinetic Poet? Where's Kinetic Poet? Yo, Prep was playing Armor Reforger yesterday. You cried laughing. The game is solid. Dude, I heard that there's a King of the Hill for Armor Reforger. And I may have to check that out. 
You'll keep your kit. Fellas, we've already been we've already done this. Yeah, dude, Reforger, I love King of the Hill Arma 3, so Oh, you watch Shroud play it and that shit is wild. Oof. Bro, that might be fun. That might be fun. I'll mention it to them in the in the chat. We want to play Oh Deer, which is the a game where one player is the hunter and the rest of the deer and they got to blend in. Um, but dude, I feel like some some King of the Hill armor reforger would be sick. As our secondary. I think we already have another secondary game lined up, but I feel like I feel like Cough would be sick. Come back to Daisy, Deadly. Come home. Uh, I played Daisy in December. Had a great time. Winter Chinaris was awesome. Oh, you seen Mark playing Armor Reforger earlier today? Okay, I'll mention it in the group chat and be like, listen, maybe... Maybe instead of just doing, because like, oh, deer is going to be fun for maybe like 45 minutes. And if we don't get four people, then it might not even be a good idea. But I know that uh, if all three of us jumped on Reforger and like, dude, a King of the Hill is great with a group. I would love to play it, actually. You know, it'd be sick if you stop giving attention to YouTube. You're neglecting us. I'm calling CPS. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, we got the Zagussi. What else we got? I had to do that for the first time without using a uh, toggle sprint. So I think I've adjusted uh, pretty well to uh, toggle sprint now. I definitely prefer it now, but... Um, Toggle sprint was just because my pinky got tired all the time. Playing all these running sims. Dude, it's like eight hours of holding her down, buddy. Holding her down. Old man pinky. Ah. Uh. Just tape it. Tape her down. Alright, well, sadly we didn't get we didn't spawn anywhere near the filing cabinets. Which is kind of annoying. That was sort of what I wanted to do out here. So Yo, I'm downloading Reforger tonight, and I'm putting King of the Hill on there. And I know we just started playing some hardcore Tarkov, but I actually think the three of us in a King of the Hill Reforger squad would be a really good time. Would be a really good meme. So I'm gonna really I'm gonna try to push for that. Like, man, I played. I played so much King of the Hill on Arma 3, mainly off stream, some of it on stream back in the day. It is by far my favorite Arma 3 mod. I played a lot of Wasteland and stuff and Arma Life, but that was mainly on Arma 2. I never really enjoyed the, um, the, like the, the ones on Arma, 
armor three as much. Armor two wasteland and armor two life, like Takistan life, they just hit different. Fuck, there's a lot of them. This guy's probably gonna bleed out. Oh. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of ammo. There isn't enough bullets. This is good. Oh, this is really good too. Dude, I can't loot though. There's too many freaking scavs. I already did the Taz task. Super chat incoming. I heard the, the yelling from over there. There's also one from behind. He's right there. I think I just spotted his gun. I would like to try to loot, but I feel like they only come at me when I'm looting. Yeah, they're only, sh they're only coming at me when I'm looting. Soft points, I'll take them. Dude, this is uh this is awkward. Okay. Um There we go. The sorting hut. All right. Let's 
go down here. Cotton beanie? Ooh, shit. All right. Well. Um, fuck. Both those rigs are good. I can't take both. I'm going to take the class 5 body body armor over that for sure. That rig is better than yours? It's not. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure the Zook's got more space. I could be wrong though. Did I say class 5? I think it's got uh, 30, 30 slots in the tan. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20, 25 in the tan. Is there? Equals. Zook has no singles. Gotcha. That's still pretty big, though. We just scored, like, a bunch of uh, good ammo here for the AK. Hit it with the repack. Not good. <laughs> Better than zero ammo. Yeah, let's throw the light on the AK. That's good. Yeah, good. Good is uh, huh. good isn't better than nothing. Oh, I can't loot this filing cabinet. I don't think I really spent too much time like looting the bowels of this building. What's the raid time at? I don't know. Dude, this is a greasy spot right here. I mean, only for rare situations, I guess, but still. Man, the audio is so weird when it comes to broken windows in buildings. Locked! Well, what's so good can spawn in a locked filing cabinet? Come on now, give me like a, something really good. Okay. Sure. An operating room key. We got hunter matches. Man, it's a monsoon. Uh, nothing back there this time. I wonder if anyone went into Lexos. I should probably look. Yes, they always do. I know it seems just it just seems like a quiet raid. Maybe because it's raining so loud that nobody can freaking hear anything. Did I not just see a, uh, what? Did I not see, just see, like, something pop up? Oh, a chainlet. Yeah, okay. AFAC. Is that it? Just an AFAC? There's a Veritas pick. 
Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, it's GP coin. I was gonna say, like, I thought, uh... Salt. We're gonna need that for the food station down the road, but that's alright. Cabin key. Ollie Cash Reg. Whoa! Wrong button. Oh yeah, this is this is this is the building I'm after right here. You found that Reggie key? Be funny to actually use it for rubles, but... Oh, yeah! But it's the office room, though. But it's still good, though. It's fine. I'm so happy with that. If I can get the Concordia keys, I'll be really happy. Although, it's like just for valuables but you know money can be used for the uh, APC so that'd be kind of neat but you have to risk the cash oh there's Concordia 8 okay when was the last time we seen a PMC uh probably on um Ground Zero. There's a dude that walked right past me, and then I'm pretty sure he got killed by the barrier snipers. Only killed a few people today so far. Been playing some nighttime raids to try to get meds. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not going to be actively hunting PvP unless I absolutely have to until we have um, a decent amount of medications stored up. But the more we play streets, you know, the more that that's going to become unavoidable, so... Yeah, it's like, well, if the ammo is just for limiting it to four slots, that's all that's for. I dropped the cabin key. I don't need another one. Oh yeah, we got we got more space in there. So right now I'm I'm just looking for screws and matches. Ah, uh, not another one. I'll never get forty uses, so I'm. this terror group meeting room key I mean I don't think there's really much in that room though holy shit now that sucks because I would love that on my main account <laughs> fuck that sucks so much. Oh, nothing like 20 rounds of Lapua sitting in a box just right there. Oh my. That's wild. Bitcoin spawn and filing cabinets in the meeting room. Where did I keep that key? All right. Finally, cabinets good enough for me. Holy shit. I guess this is just called the Oh, fucking defib. No way. What? Shit. I mean, do I need it for anything really? Anytime soon? 
I don't even think I need a defib for anything other than uh, Med Station 3. I'll still keep it though, but... Hold on, did I get through all these? Go extract with the defib? I mean, I'll, we'll try. It's not like... As cool of an item as it is, it's actually not as useful for us right now. But I will, I'm not going to get rid of it. But dude, we got to do so much searching through filing cabinets. It's, it's wild. <laughs> Welcome to the filing cabinet loot stream, where we just loot filing cabinets for six hours. But hey... We need those matches, all right? And filing cabinets are really good for matches. What's this? A v uh, I think there's a barter for this key for something now, but... Fuck. Fuel? Ah. Oh, the paid. What am I doing? Um, sorry, Cotton. Your beanie's dank, but we're not going for Kappa, so. <sighs> I'm going to get rid of the blue as well. Ah, shit. Find a raid Mackie. Need that too. All right. I'd say we probably gonna have to start moving here soon before a player scab pops in. Now I played bear this time for a very specific reason. I usually play Yusek on our hardcore. Oh, oh, that's a big key. Oh, that's I already have an operating room key. I know it's insane, but oh, that's big. That's a big key. That's a big boy key for hardcore. That is a really, really, really good key. That is uh, underbarrel grenade launchers and attachments. Rare attachments. Very big key. Guaranteed weapon. I heard jump. Anyway, I was really interrupted. The reason why I'm bare is so I can buy the scav outfit. Fuck. Yeah, the mustard jacket and black pant combo. So instead of doing scav raids, we'll just end up doing raids looking as a scav. <laughs> Sack. I mean, what are the odds that the extraction is open up here? I mean, really, really low. I might as well check, though. The crazy thing is Courtyard was the first extraction I took out on this map. That was very Canadian sounding, I am aware. That's a player scab right there. Never mind. There's a pilgrim sack though.
Brave Sir Robin. Sir Robin ran away. Not ideal. No, not ideal at all. I can't see them at all. More filing cabinets, but I'm done of the filing cabinets for this raid, I promise. Uh, don't worry, I got a plan. It's a dangerous plan, though, because of how quiet this raid was. So, I feel like if we were going to get caught out of position at any point, now would probably be that point. But we're going to cross to the pharmacy. I wasn't able to get the... You know, there's too many scavs in the dark. I was already killed by a scav today on a devastating raid, so... I gotta know my limitations. It's just, there's just too much, too much tuna. Okay. Let's get over here. I will loot this though. Got a little pharmacy and then we'll go to Sewer River from here. Little pharmacy action. Whoop. Don't threaten me with a good time. Cro Dude, Kroll Show is one of your favorites? Man. <laughs> the uh, Degrassi skit? What is it? Wheels Wheels Ontario? <laughs> Yo, we got R. Ness with the 75-month sub. Yo, R. Ness. Thank you so damn much, man. Yeah, really, really, really appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry, Toons. Fucking Wheels Ontario. Mr. Dressup? Yo, 75 years. 75 years. Okay. Oh! I guess there's like... Might as well just throw that into the wallet, wherever the hell the wallet is. Uh, there it is. There's also 14 BPs, which I definitely need to take. The Kroll Show? Yeah, like Nick Kroll had a variety sketch comedy show. And it was, it was fucking awesome. The, uh, the European... No European skit where he's like, for breakfast, we have something light, like a bar of chocolate and a cigarette. And then we work, we go to work for one half. Oh, shit. They didn't like that. We will go to work for one half hour, two half hour. Then we go on break. <laughs> some, some wine with another cigarette. Damn. Well, this is kind of tough, man. There's so many scavs, they can see me and I can't see them. Scav vision, their eyes have adjusted to the darkness. What you want is a total wolf impression? No, Mikey. No, it's not right. No, Michael. No, Michael. No. Metal? That must be sniper scab. Dude, that was brutal. Now, as a Red Bull fan watching that at the time, uh... You know, we watched that live on stream, actually. But looking back on it in hindsight, man, oh man. What? Probably one of the biggest sporting in injustice, injustices, if that's the right word, of all time. Imagine being a Red Bull fan. Listen, things have been a little shaky lately. I'm not as big of a fan as of how they handled the recent situation. With old Chris, Christian Horner. Or should we call Christian Horny? Or maybe Shower Boy. 
or I don't know, one of the pick your poison. However, back when I started getting into Formula One, I turned on the TV one day, didn't know anybody, but I like I kind you know I liked Red Bull at the time, so I just started going for Red Bull. Didn't know the drivers. Didn't know what the fuck was going on, really. I just went. I, that's how it, That's how it happened. One Sunday morning. I was like, shit, I'm just going to sit down and watch this. Uh, but, you know, I like Carlos, though. I'm a big fan of Carlos. I hope, I hope he gets a seat next year. We'll see. But anyway, the, the long story short, that was insane. Like, looking back on it now, like... If only Latifi didn't crash. Holy moly. If That was a good raid, by the way. I mean, it started off in the daylight, but ended up uh, walking through the darkness. Perez just agreed with everything Red Bull to try and keep his seat. Yeah. There was one time where, like, I feel two years ago, Perez was actually trying to go for the championship, but... You know, whenever you're like 13, 14 seconds in the difference with your teammate at the end of a Grand Prix in the same car, I feel like that's when you realize that unless that dude DNFs every single freaking raid, Perez should start taking Max to some dodgy Taco Bells before the race. But was it the same car? It is the same car. The setups are different. The setups are done by individual driver preferences and team engineers. So uh, they like adjust the car based off of the track and the conditions. But yes, it is uh, in, in fact a similar car, if not the same car most of the time. Sometimes an upgrade package will be done sooner than another and they'll always go with their number one driver. But they are, in fact, the same car. That's why the biggest competition is always the person that's on your team. Because you always want to be doing at least better than your teammate. Because then if you're, if you're doing better than your teammate, you can blame your poor performance on a shit car. Well, as most of them do. Uh, damn. All right. We've had a mighty, mighty day so far. Not in terms of PvP, but in terms of progress being made for the account. We woke up this morning with no painkillers and no meds. And over the last couple of raids, we've been able to snaggle a number of painkillers. The most important consumable item for this account by far. When's Jaeger going to be unlocked? We already unlocked Jaeger. Already. Blame the clubs. Yeah. 100%. What are we working on for the task list right now? Still the 3M body armor. Still an MP. Can I get a... Can I get one of these with a barter? Let's see. What is this? A buckwheat. Oh, no. I had buckwheat. I had buckwheat. We need this for... Um, for gunsmithing, but... Oh, damn. I can almost get these. Keep that in mind, I guess. Sadly, we're almost at a, a stash space. Keys in the, in the boofer. Oh, right. Yeah, we scored some good ones, man. The meeting key. Concordia 8. Um, Concordia security. Yes. Okay, let me just start stacking this backpacks. Backpack stack. Okay. Yes, pretty good. Let's uh maybe do another streets. I feel maybe we're during the daylight this time so we can actually see where the hell we're walking. I mean, it started off as the daytime. So we need three Iskra Finer Raid. Those used to be really good for... Um, on interchange, but... Can't you just put the uh, dust cover in the backpack on the AK? I definitely wouldn't, though, because... Uh, 
optical rail attachments are kind of tough for me to find consistently. So if we already have one that like, I don't want to remove this because we already have it, you know, works. I want to keep the other one for another gun. Okay. Yeah, we'll take these keys with us this time, I think. Concordia 8. I mean, that's not nearly as important. I actually won't take that this time. It's a nice key, but we'll leave some space for some other keys. And uh, yeah, let's have a sip of water and... Actually, I'll bring the water in. So the most important item that we need right now is a spark plug. I'm also going to leave the mask, mask and glasses combo. Spark plug. Spark plug. We need to build our uh, generator. Is my armor really fucked up? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Um, oh, the money. Where's the wallet? I'll bring, uh, like a little stacker of, uh, of cash. Little, little stacker of cash, just in case. Alright, let's roll. Are you gonna buy more stash space? No. No, no, no. Mongoose, hey, yo, thanks to the 52-month resub, my man. Really appreciate that. Thank you. We also got Uncle Butthead, thanks to the three-month sub. Goldie, thanks to the prime sub. Pepman, thank you for the five-month sub. Hollow Void, thanks to the two years. Tub Bubbles, thanks to the 17-month sub. Pinecone, thanks to the 38-month sub. AWP, thanks to the 11 month sub, and Toothless, thanks to the 26 month sub. This alone, thanks again for the 14. OGs in the chat, dude, we got some OGs. OG Mongoose, dude. Hope life's good, my friend. Thanks for popping back in. I'm actually going to message the fellas right now about Reforger. Yeah, I'm being like, listen, we should we should play Reforger King of the Hill. Ask Pep what mode he was playing yesterday. I think it was King of the Hill. Must be. King of the Hill's popping right now. Um, like I was saying earlier, it's like one of my favorite armor mods, just like full stop. So yeah, Pep was on. The jank is real. Perfect. I perfect. 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 That sounds perfect. Hold on, I'm actually going to start the download right now, but I don't have the mod. I don't know if it's one of those things where I got to download it through their launcher or if it comes preloaded or what. Perfect amount of jank. Steam, open up. Fuck, it's not opening. Shutting down Steam. Wait, it's loading to shut down Steam? Steam, what the hell are you doing, bud? How? Software, boys. Reforger. It's only 17 gigs. Yeah, I already bought I bought that a long time ago. We we played Reforger when it came out and those were some good streams, but it was completely broken. But those were good. Those are good. Maybe hey, maybe we uh maybe we do a test run. Maybe we check it out uh I only have about an hour and a half though. Yeah, but no, I'll I'll finish up with some golf today. I'm feeling golf, but at least I'm going to get it downloaded. Honestly, Con and I haven't really talked much, man, over the last couple of months. 
Um, I know he was talking on Twitter that he's coming back in about a week or so, roughly. He's got an appointment on the 15th, so after he gets the all go ahead, I think we're we're good to go or he's good to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You think you'll play my summer car again? Yeah. I mean, if it's going to be years until my winter car comes out, I'm sure there'll be some sort of mod that will, or some sort of update that will bring me back to my summer car. They're still updating my summer car. I think there was an update recently, but I don't know what they added. Um, let me see. It's still considered early access. Bro, this game is only $16 Canadian. What an absolute steal. I don't really know where the, uh, the updates are. Maybe mysummercar.com. Change log. Uh, the last change log that they put on the website fixed an issue of roaming NPCs sometimes reporting waste dump. Oh. Yeah, okay, so they added this, but we did this last year. Unless this is they're doing it... Uh, oh, I think the dates are December. So I think there was a December update. There was a December update. So dumping human waste into the open nature is not an instant find anymore. <laughs> Roaming NPCs might now detect illegal waste dumps and report it, le uh, leading to a fine. Added a lone wasp at the landfill in Strawberry Field. Chance of sting. I don't, they didn't, you know, whatever. Granny won't offer coffee if you have a prison tattoo. <laughs> Yeah, that was just a few months ago. <laughs> it's you. You, uh, <laughs> holy shit. Poor granny, dude. Dude, if you don't drive granny to church on Sunday, there's a chance that she gets hit by a car and dies. All right, you gotta, all right, you gotta take your grandmother to church. You gotta drive her. Can't be getting too drunk on Saturday night. Get me out of here. Dude. What the heck? Get me out of here. Ugh. There we go. We across. You have to drink it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's on my phone. I was like wondering like, where's the website? When dealing uh, killed you to jockey or kill you to jockey it is now required to drink along with him. Church bells, players, car passengers can now permanently die in a crash. Dude, they've been updating this game. Actually, no, no, no. No, they, there was an update in uh, February of last year, and then there was two updates back-to-back -back in December of last year. So they're still, they're still doing the odd update. All right, we got some gunshots, like, happening over here. I played Monbazoo. I played... Oh, that may have been at me, actually. That sounded like it was at me.
It was not. All right, we got lots of gunshots happening over at the construction site. Fuck, that's going to maybe raise an alarm. Oh! No! Oh, no! I might have to stop doing that. All right, let's just go downstairs. Tired pinky. Blame it on my pinky. Left? Yeah, I thought I heard something. Like somebody opening up a bag. Micro. How's the grind going? Today's been really good. We got a lot accomplished. Oh god. That's just like up the ramp. Yeah, we got we finally got some painkillers, which is really nice. Finally. Got some painkillers. Nice little wave suppressor. Okay. I don't think there's really much else kicking around here. What's this? Oh, no way. I didn't even know that this was a thing. There's a Nikita 1911 pistol grip? I didn't even know that this was in the game. It's Nikita's streamer item. Custom grip panels made for the 1911 pistol manufactured by Kiba Arms. Definitely gonna need that. Ragwald, thank you, my man. Coming in with the 78 month resub. Massive. So yeah, there's gunshots just up that ramp and to the left. So I would personally like to try to get over to some filing cabinets, but the, they keep on spawning me on the complete opposite side of the map. Where conveniently there are just no good filing cabinets. Somebody's purchasing the vehicle extraction, so that's off... But that ain't gonna work. Yeah, it sounds like all this shit's happening at uh, Lexo's right now. Yeah, we got we got some big boys battling at Lexo's. I'm gonna go take a peek. I don't think I'm actually gonna. You know, risk it too much, but I'll just kind of look glass over and see what we see. Mossy's slaying the younglings. It does sound like a suppressed MP5.
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get the angle I want. Spaja parking lot. Yeah, I'm going to have to try to get over to that section. What's my extraction? Do I got expo? Please have expo. No expo. There might be a flare on the bodies. Oh, I can't. I'm not. Sorry, Masi. I can't get close to you. I can't engage with you. I can't get your assistance of any kind. And I won't loot any of the bodies that you kill. Sorry, buddy. You can't either. You're dead. I still will avoid it. Oh, fuck. This guy's dead. Holy shit. Is Caban up or are people just throwing down? The Zook is good, but the Black Rock I prefer. Swap knives. You can't loot knives from dead PMCs in Tarkov. <sighs> Bro, I, I gotta backtrack here. I need to eat, though. I'm going to eat the condensed milk and drink the water. We're in a really bad spot, but I'm going to have to try to backtrack and go past the check building, maybe, and down that way. Oh, that scav had a bayonet. We'll try to get to the opposite side of the map here. Sparja might be chaotic. Scav. I hope. Right 
I can hear you, yeah. Hello. You're in the ground? Can you see me? I can't see you. Yes, I got glitched in the ground and I don't like it. Oh, yeah, no, that sucks. Don't, don't, um, over by that red thing. Don't try to jump the fence. You get glitched in the ground. Okay. Can you shoot through the ground? I can't tell if these guys, if he's hacking or if he's actually stuck below the ground. Because, like, usually whenever you fall through the ground, you go all the way down to the bottom and then you die. We'll know if he follows us perfectly. I think he's actually stuck. <laughs> you saw it on Reddit? Oh no. Dude, this has been a weird raid. Ah, it's probably not worth it. I'll let him pass. We gotta move. Cause he might come back for me now. What a raid? Bro, it's such a weird raid. What was my mission on streets? Uh, it was to hit some filing cabinets, but I didn't spawn anywhere near the filing cabinets. And uh, it's just been a weird ride ever since. I've been trying to get to the other side of the map, but there's just too much stuff at Lexos. And uh, Mossy snuck into my raid and killed a bunch of people, but I don't want to... It would uh, hurt the integrity of Hardcore if I tried to go over there and loot any of the people that he killed, so... I'm just going to avoid the entire area. I could go down over to the medical from here, but... So I'm just kind of like trying to get out of this raid and hit a reset, but then we ran to a guy that was stuck underground and... <laughs> <laughs> you know, and yeah, it took a bit of a turn. <laughs> as you know as it would I might go upstairs real quick <laughs> hey man I'm stuck underground okay You ran into the true rat of Tarkov. Actually, I think there's a barter that we can uh, take advantage of with the pom-pom hat. I'm pretty sure. Integrity schmegrity. Get all the loots. No, 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 no. I'm looking for buckwheat. By the way, I've been the king of finding instant noodles. But also, the uh, the frame rate has just been... I think my frames just freaking died. How's the temperatures looking good? Temps are looking good. At high level south skills, you don't die when you fall when glitching through the map from vaulting. Oh man, that blows. 
So you're just like perpetually stuck in hell. Yeah, I mean, if if it if it was uh, if I didn't know that somebody was in my raid, and by somebody I mean Mossy, I still don't know if I would have risked checking that out. I just want a spark plug. I'm a simple man, you know? I'm a sim Yeah, my frames are tanked right now. At least it feels like it. Oh, no. Never mind. I guess tanked at 80. Uh, well, I don't know. It just seems inconsistent, like janky. Anyway, I'm a simple man. I just want a spark plug. That's all I'm looking for. Yeah, I mean, going down to 56. Now, Tarkov's performance is actually pretty good lately, so... Ah! Fuck. It's a sniper scab. I can't see him. The shadow. The shadow of the building. It's too great. All right. We sadly don't have this extraction. I have to go all the way up to Sewer River. Oh, bro. My game is lagging so hard. I wonder why. The temperatures are good. We're at 48 degrees Celsius. Don't. Don't. Tuck. Toolbox. That might have a spark plug. Oh my god. Right in the LOS of the sniper. You know what? They should have kept that as a Sturman box. I'm sad that they didn't. Ah! Oh! All you hear is the wind. Come on, fellas! Let's put some fucking lead in them! Yo, was it a player scab behind the bus? It may have been. It may have been a player scab behind the bus. It wasn't. Head jaws? No. No. That was a nice shot. Fucking got shot in the jaws. In the jaws. In fail, thanks to the 77 month sub. Um, maybe. I'm thinking about it. We'll see. Um, but if you just want to watch the VODs, the 1440p VODs are gonna be up uh just on the regular, just go to my YouTube channel, they're gonna be right there. Um, yo, we get Ark, thanks to the 18 month sub, the Mandalorian, thanks to the 10 month sub, and uh Ragwald, thank you. Well, I think that's good. I think I'm good for today on the hardcore challenge. Uh all in all, I think we had a really solid couple of raids. I mean, we got uh 
eight sets of painkillers, which is basically eight raids. That's like eight raids. We don't have to worry about it, which is really, really nice. So those are heat. Those are super key. So I think tomorrow we'll try our very best to put more effort on, um, try to put more effort on uh, the hideout. I think. Yeah, it was. It was. It started off rough, but it ended up strong. Like ground zero is really, really, really good for hardcore. So we need one spark plug for sure. So, but yeah, no, it was really good. We got a lot accomplished today, so I'm happy. We're not done with the stream, though. We're just going to switch things up. We're going golfing. We're going golfing. I love golf. We are going uh, golfing. Sandy's competitive climb. Poor Sandy, a glass of milk. Time to tee up. Time to I don't know what that means, but time to tee up. Sandy's headed for the bunkers. All right. New day, new outfit. New day, new outfit. Let's pop into the locker and see what's up. Uh, what's this? Bad. It just says bad on it. <laughs> okay. Great. Love it. Yep. We got a hat to, we got a, oh, it's a bit, the bad birdie. The bad birdie hat. Uh, psh. go for the ping visor, maybe. Oh no, that doesn't work. Hold tight. Something like that. We'll put the, we'll put the P hat on. Oh yeah, we're ready to go. Harry Potter glasses? Nah. All right. <laughs> His disturbingly over large mouth is too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it is what it is. Plastic surgery, you know? Oh, we got 500 bucks. That's enough to buy some more clubs. We're slowly rebuilding our clubs, but. All right. This is going to be our daily outfit. We got uh, Jamil. So the guys that have their accounts connected to 2K, these guys are really good at the game. He also has a wacky looking putter that I haven't seen before. So I feel like we're in for a, for a hot opener. In for a hot opener. Hello there, my name's John, and I would like to welcome you to PGA Tour 2K23. And who's gonna win here today? All right, that here we go. My question: We have some match play ready. All right, not a bad off. opening drive for the Let's afternoon, fellas. I'd say that's pretty good. Bounce left, please. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll that's good. That. And he's ready to go. Let's see how this hole goes for him. Good start. Good start for the day. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's lucky. All right, this is his second. Oh, yeah, he's good. He's fine. The rough the rough that he is in is, like, totally not that bad at all. It's like you're basically in the fairway. 
He's a little short, though. Okay. We have a chance. This one's about 100 yards from Dude, the we got a 10-mile-an-hour wind. Holy. 10-mile-an-hour wind. Um... This should be good. Woo! Oh, oh yeah. Do. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, this is his okay. third shot. Or is it mile an hour or kilometer? Okay, oh, it is mile chance an hour. to go one up on your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> what? Man, wait a minute! Whoa, well, wait! That what? What do you mean? That just what? It, what? What the hell are you talking about? Looking good. Starting the day. Too soft. Even par. Lovely to see. No, too too rigid. I guess. This, he'll have the hole. And the par putt drop. Dude, that looked like that seemed like that it had way well more break than it actually did. To in my defense, okay. Right to left on this one. That was actually nuts. Damn, we just gave away. We just gave away. Uh, you didn't hit through the break. Oh, I 100% I did. Yeah. And he's ready to tee off and see what he has. Yeah, I shot a bit faster. I aimed for uh, it a slightly left and, and it went fast. Slightly hard. And it just didn't go. Okay, second shot here on the second. It needed, yeah, biffed it. Need to be uh, softer. Um, okay, we're going to do something kind of wacky here. Could be slightly oh, too much wacky. Ah, oh, dude, the okay, roll was that. like pretty severe. All right, here's his second shot. Damn, that sucks. We should have had that putt, but those like close four foot putts with break, it just kills me sometimes. 21 feet to the cup from here. Okay, it's going to start. It's basically going to start like, you know, pretty flat. Then she's going to start going right to left. And then it really picks up near the end. So. I'm feeling here. I like it. I like here. Oh! Never mind. And this putt right here will put him at one up. No, 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 no! And that one will go for 30. But plenty of ball game. Plenty of ball. Plenty of ball left. Plenty of ball. Plenty of ball. Good. He's in the heavy rough. That's perfect. All right. Bombs away. Let's hit that fairway. Um, okay. I want to aim here. That sounded good. Slow. I needed it to go fast. I think we might bounce into the rough ourselves. Yep. Uh, not as bad. Maybe Shouldn't our position is a little bit worse than... Oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, no, that's that's pretty bad. Uh, Bro, we might have to get extremely creative here. I'm basically fucked on this hole anyway. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Fuck, dude. 
dude, this dude, my teammate's gonna my he's not my teammate. The guy I'm going against is just gonna fucking hate me. That's all I can do. That's all I meant to do. Damn, that he's sucks. A lot of deep stuff here. No, because like he's in the rough as well. If he wasn't in the rough, I'd probably go for it, but like there's no way I would have been able to take a three a three iron from there either because the loft, like, we wouldn't have been able to get to the bunkers near the green either because the loft would have been way too, Five way too much. Five iron for this one. Oh, okay. Setting up about 115 yards out. This one's going left. Not bad. Good job. We're on. Not this green. is a terrible hole for us. So if we right. could just make Third all square, I'll be happy. If we could just get all square, I'll be happy. Uh, no. Listen, Northern uh, Northern Lion and I have never really crossed right, our paths Four. before. Um. You know, I don't do too many collaborations, but I know he's friends with Dan, so I feel like if there was any a time that we would, it would probably be some sort of trio content. And I would be always I would always be open to it for sure. Get in the hole! Oh, man. Fuck, that was close. Okay, they've got this to go to two up for the match. That was close. He's got it. Ooh, yeah, no, he doesn't. Right by. Five foot putt coming up. All right, straight. Straight five foot putt. We should be going. good. All right. All Has right, we made done? all square. That's actually... Let's see what he does he, he messed up just as much as I messed up. So that's... And that's... That will do. From that position where we were behind the tree with the threat of the water, I'm like, I'm super happy with that. It sucks. We should be all square, but I missed a really here, easy putt. Using the six iron here. It's looking long. Okay. Well, let's see what you can do on this one. Heading left. Bounce. Whoa, that bounce was brutal. We're on the green with that one. Well done. All right, here's your friend. He's setting up in the green side sand. Okay, you need this to win the hole. Not a tear. You know what? Not too bad, actually. I feel like if I aim for about here, we should be okay. Yes. 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 Hole, yes. 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 Off now in a long All four. right. All right. We're back. We're tied up. We're tied up. Ha! No. This is right on the Bounce border. Bounce right, I'm not sure please. Going to be rough. Please rough keep way. going. Ooh. We are lucky. We are extremely right, we lucky. Oh my god. <laughs> that could have been way worse. That could have been bad. Yeah, we could be here. He's going to get a car path bounce. Oh no. Wow. Okay. okay. About 230 yards from here. Uh, yep. I actually think this is fine. With the wind, we'll probably make the green. Ooh, little Dovsky. Bounce right. Yep, yeah, we're putting. Good shot. Okay, second shot for him on this No, one. you know what? I think our opponent is struggling with the wind. This guy's not a bad player at all. I just think the and wind's really throwing him wind. off. We are playing in, like, pretty windy conditions right now. Okay, let's see what happens. This is his third... <laughs> Oh, 
It's not like super windy, but it's like windy enough. Nice putt to go one up for the match. All right. Um, so right to left. It's going to be a pretty consistent right to left. I kind of like this. Too hard, maybe. Too hard. Looking really good. Ooh. Ooh. Now, actually needed to be harder. Looks like he's got around eight feet to the cup. Man, that, that also broke way more than I thought it was going to break. Oh. And that one drops for par. All right, we're going to smash it. All right, now if you want to have the hole. Yeah. Got to make this. All right, good job. Good well job, old Sanders. One. Good job. And that holes have. Always too hard, just a little less power. Not always. Stepping onto a par four hole on this one. Sometimes you want to go hard or soft, you know? Situationally speaking, that is. Uh, yeah, no, let's go for a normal drive. There we are. That's bad. Oh, and let's balls. see how this hole goes down for him. I think he's with us. He's with us. Here's no, I do not use three shot. I use a controller hole. like a man. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so. Oh, that's uh, off track. Oh, hit the tree branch. You know what? That was a good well, shot. We just, we just we sadly hit the tree branch and he's lost some. He's in the deep stuff here. He's, he's buried in there. Let's see how he does. That was actually a solid. If we didn't just, like, tickle the tree there, we would have been all right. Well, I prefer to be where I'm at than where he's at, he's so. The green side I don't right think it's going to make too much of a difference unless this chip is greater than six feet away. That's what we want. We want this guy to kind of... Oh, no, that's good. He's fine. This is our third shot. Oof. If you drop this, you could save par. This putt's good so far. Yep. Nicely played. He's got about eight He's fine. Feet. This is flat. It's flat. He's good. And that one will drop. You tend to ignore the wind a lot. No. I have uh the way I play with a hook. To right cross breeze on this hole. So I have to play shots into my hook. So I just don't talk about it. Um so if I if I if I do or like chip shots tend to be slow. So like a hook or a slice is always going to have greater effect on the ball than anything else. So slice it means goes to the right and not a whole lot of distance. And then a hook is uh, going to the left and uh, it's still going to get some good distance, but like not crazy. So right here, you know, I'm going to want to aim for the wind, right? But I'm probably going to be fine because I'm likely going to shoot this fast, which means it's going to push to the left anyway. See how it's fast? So it's going to naturally start going to the left. So that that's why I aim where I do. Man, sometimes it seems like I'm ignoring the wind, but sometimes the wind is blowing in a direction that's going to counteract not the my shot strokes. placement anyway. So that comes first, and then the wind comes Here's second. second Actually, no. The ball, the ball above or below my feet comes first, and then the pin position... Being Here above or below. Five wood. And then after that, it's my swing that goes fast or slow, and then the wind. Okay, this is about a That's how, so like, yeah, this so shot, it's slightly up three feet, not a big deal. The ball is slightly above my feet, so I have to naturally aim a bit more on the right. Um, but the wind's going to blow that way way more than the ball is going to affect, so I want to be over here. 
But then my fucking shot is going to be fast, so we're probably still going to be right at the pin. Nice. All right, we're putting. Probably should have clubbed up a little bit. And here he goes, coming out of the deep stuff on this one. Yeah, it's just like on these settings, like... There's like such a small margin of error for everything, so it's brutal. It's hard. It's way harder than it looks. Will he I promise you. Make it. He's got a long putt. Unless you three click. So, uh, could go either way. It took me like weeks of practice. This and guy can putt. It drops. It took me like weeks of practice just to get to the point where I can even play competitive mode. And this putt drops, you can go one up. I feel like that's all I need. I feel like that's all I need here. Maybe a bit more. What? Oh, look at my, look at my, the right-hand side. <gasps> There's almost nothing left of this one. That was my fault. Okay, that hole's going to be half. That was like going right to left across the surface. Because the swing timing programming is ass. Got a nice uh, tailwind on this hole. See what you can do with that. Yeah, I mean, like, I was, I was whinging and bitching about it when I first started to play. But now, after I've practiced quite a bit, it's, uh, you know, it's hard. It's weird. A little bit to the Bounce right left. on the approach here. Okay, that's, you know, that could have been better. All right, let's see how he does here on this hole. The problem with this game is you have to play on pro controllers. You think you're good, you're a god until you figure that out, and then you're left to learn the game. Okay, he's getting ready to. Yeah, fire well, I mean, you st start on amateur shots. though. You definitely want to start on amateur to get the feel for things, and then slowly ramp up the difficulty. That's what we did. That's what I did. Okay, second shot here on the eighth hole. Ooh, too much heat. Nice chip. It's just totally a different game when you Putting switch. Dude, we were stuck in the bogey league for a long time. Actually, you know what you should do? Just play in competitive mode. Screw it. Don't even play amateur. Just play Just play on the pro settings. This guy's just draining putts. Putt. We've got this much left to save par on this one. All right, let's head to the next. And just just live in the bogey that league. Will be had. That's my recommendation. The matchmaking in this game now. is probably one of the best I've ever seen in any game that I've personally played. And I truly mean that. So just suffer in the bogey league. We were in the bogey league for like three weeks. You know, you're going to get money to upgrade your clubs. You know, you're going to level up your care. Oh, God. No! You're well, going to level up your work. character? He's ready to let her That's because here. golf handicaps work. Well, in this, it doesn't work as a golf handicap. It works as an MMR. But I, maybe there is an swing. internal handicap. I know that there is one for that's displayed on the top right of your profile. But to my knowledge, it, it doesn't shot. use that when matchmaking you against other people. Um, because it doesn't subtract shots. It, it, I think it just uses like a traditional chess style MMR system. And then it puts you in multiple different brackets. We are in the deep stuff. But currently. is it not Let's pay to win with good clubs? No, 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 no. It just, um, definitely not. But it's not pay to win. It's like you earn the currency in the game. Um, no, the, it, the, the, the club fittings just allow you to adjust your play to, to fit your play style. So you become better, but with default ball, default clubs, you're still fine. 
Um, shit, this is gonna suck. Like, I lost my clubs, so I'm playing with mainly He's default stuff. A bit right. But, um... Okay, let's get on to you the You know, it is, uh, you do have a talent tree. You do have okay, got perks. You got third. different player archetypes and stuff, so you just play into your strengths and see what happens. How'd you lose your clubs? Well, I was getting a nose job, and somebody broke into the back of the Tacoma and stole the clubs. Fucking terrible. Happens to the best of us, act honestly. But really, um, I guess you're supposed to, like... I don't really know how you're supposed to transfer your character from one computer to another, but your character will remain, your stats will remain, your talents, your talent points will remain, and your archetype, but your character, your player character, won't. So, like, the Sandy McTire character won't transfer over. So I had to, like, rebuild my guy in the character creation, and then all the money that I spent on my clubs was also gone for some reason. Like, I lost all those fittings just because I downloaded the game on a new computer. I don't know how to get around it, but it's actually the worst. It's the worst part about this game. By a long shot. Amazing. Well judged on that one. You have to regrind clubs on a fresh install. Here. Yep. I don't know why it works that way. It's really dumb. This guy doesn't miss a putt. He'll end things off today with a par. This guy doesn't miss a putt. Okay, you need this one to go in the cup. And with that, you will head to a playoff. Can't okay, playoff is very do. simple. Closest right, to the to pin on the green. Hole, and, and if we tie it, then the, the they win. You're if somebody Once doesn't land on the green and somebody does land on the green, then they get closest playoff. to the pin. So somebody could be closer to the pen, but in the rough. Well, you made this is a good, good shot. Contact with that one. Yes, that's good. That's not bad. Nice that's shot. not bad. Metal, could be. Could have been better, but not bad. And now the final tee shot coming up. So here. if Let's he gets it into the rough, the then all we got to do is tie it and go all square. Um, now, uh, oh, fuck. This is really good. Nine this iron. is. Oh, no. No. Go long. Go long. Okay. All the tee shots are done. Yes. You are closest to the pin. That is. That's great. He's setting up for the birdie putt. He's here. going for the two putt here. Dude, no way you get that in. Okay. Please give me the all honor. All right. You've got this. All right. All we got to do is two putt, putt and we win. To win in a playoff. Don't pull the plug. Don't pull the plug, man. Have honor. Looking really good. All right. There it is. That's it. We won. Distance Game over, boys. Up there. And a five foot putt for him. And that'll be the end for their day. All right, this, all right, that putt That's will it. drop, and you will pull away the winner, and it was all due to that. Beautiful, beautiful, well beautiful, done. beautiful, beautiful. There all it is, right. boys. That's it for me. First game of the day. It was great to see you pull out the win in this match, and uh, even more exciting oh, to yes. see it happen in the playoff. Great work. Oh, yes. That was actually way closer than what it should have been, given that dude's rating. We shouldn't even be in the par league, man. We got to be birdie two or birdie one. So that means that we are not as good as we used to be. After this round, we'll uh, we'll see if we can fit some better clubs. <laughs> Maybe use some different balls. Can you level your guy in single player before heading into multiplayer? Yeah, I think so. I just find multi or single player boring. Uh, this Hello guy, My name this guy is going to be tough, man. Anybody Please that's wearing the player's to sweater Tour, 2K23. so far so has been pretty good at the game. As part of the game. We are doing the front nine of this one today. This guy golfs, this man. I can just tell. Be, uh, a bit of fun. He's got the hockey salad fun. combo. He's got Show the hat. Low. He's going for the cart path. He's going for the, he's going to hit it. Oh, oh my God. 
I respect it. That okay. That Time almost was mighty for him, I got to say. If he would have hit that cart path, he would have went to the other fairway. I'm going to go three wood. This one's looking like a fairway finder. Also, fantastic and opening up drive. Around 215 yards out. Uh, I'll just kind of go like something like that. Another amazing shot. A little, I mean, we're, we're not, it wasn't super close to the pin or anything, but uh, in terms of shot cadence, that was good. Let's see what his second shot looks like. I mean, this guy's in the heavy rough with a small incline in front. He's going to have to club up. He's got a little bit of wind on his back, so it can help him out a little bit. We'll see what he does here. Little Dobsky looks here. like it's going into the sand. He's lucky. He's a lucky fella. Here's a putt for Eagle. You're compensating for your hook, but you're going perfectly straight. Yeah, because I, I rarely hit a perfect shot, so rarely. It's a good day when I'm hitting perfects. Oh, 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 Looking super. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Just give it to me, game. Up. Come on. Dude, that was, that was insane. That was close. I don't even see what this guy's doing. All right, he's putting this one for birdie. Damn. He's <gasps> and you'll go one up on your opponent if you can just sink this putt. All right, you Finally, it happened to us. The first hole. Finally, it happened to us. We've done that to plenty of people, so now we know how it feels. Feels good. Really warms the soul. Part four. Warms the soul. Makes you feel good. Well, that tee shot looks like it'll do. Beautiful. Beautiful. Dude, it really Here's does. Fucking warms roll. the cockles. Let's Dude, it, it, it really hole. does. Warms the hole. <laughs> and this one coming out of the deep rough. Warms this hole. Man, this guy can't stay out of the rough, though. I do feel like um, deep down... In the Grundle, he's going for the house. Iron here. Might have a rage quit on our hands. Here's our second shot on hole number two. All right, we're up a little bit into the wind. I'm going to club up slightly, aim a little bit to the right. Ball is slightly above. Kick right. Ah. This is his third shot. Oh, yeah. We should be okay on this one. This one Unless I third. find a way to really mess it up, I think we'll be okay. Or, you know, my computer thermal explodes because this is... Oh! Looking nice good. Tempo on that chip. Just nice and easy. Well done. Man, I wish I could golf like this in real this? life. This game long. would be so much fun. Oh, my God. Oh. You'll be two up on the match if you sink this putt. All right. And after that one, you're two up. He's the one who uses all the shortcuts to Mario Kart, but finishes last. And we're teeing up now on the third. Oh! You're looking pretty good off the tee. Yes! And he's just about yes! ready to tee off. Yes! Let's see how he does. Wicked slice on that one. In the rough again, bud. Damn, I feel bad for this guy, actually. Because I, I feel mean, like his putting, like, he's not, like, fire away with his I feel like shot. he's just good enough for us to be fighting against him, but the poor guy can't hit a fairway to save his life. This is a really good shot, though. Mighty. 
we've got about 120 yards to get to that pin from here. This should be good. Man, he's in a better position yep, than us, but we're putting. Nicely. Let's see how this shapes up. This is his third shot. He's trying to not hit the fairway. Oh! oh you know what? There is, you see the top day, right? There's it? perks. You see those lit up? Yeah, this will have so I wonder what it's fish. like if your strategy is to intentionally not hit the fairway in order to get the benefits from your talent tree. I wonder if anybody actually plays that way. Go in. Go in. Go in. Oh, just, just missed. All right, that hole was a bit of a loss. Let's just forget about it. But as soon as you break your bad stuff, you just lose the benefit. Yeah, it needs to be like a couple of holes in a row, I think. So it's probably not worth it. And here's a look at their hybrid. This is looking good. This one's going right. There you go. Yeah, this guy's got some good shots. Maybe he's just been a little unlucky on some of the fairway shots. All right, let's go. Ooh, a little slow, but this is going to work out for us. This is perfect. Oh, long putt, but damn, we went for it. That one is on the green. It's a very long way from the hole. Yeah, still, I know it's but, long, but dude, John, come on now. Wrong. We have to go for it every and time, but we, we have go. to go for, for the hole in one. Uh, I like, I like right here. I feel, I feel good about here. Okay. Okay, we'll be all square if they should sink this. It's like... I didn't think that was going to be enough, actually. He's going to sink it? He's going in. Right Ooh. By the hole. Ooh! Rinder. Oh, jeez. Damn. Six-foot putt for him. We're lucky. We're lucky. Yeah, every green's a little different, so... Or, well, not a little different. The game's got, like, a firmness score, so, you know, not all greens are the same. And that hole will be halved. I watched the real golf with conversations off, or commentators off. These guys suck. Live is much better. Welcome back to the fifth hole. We have Jack Urara. He's coming in with a draw. Oh, beautiful, beautiful shot. It tickled the trees there. Hitting the rough into the fairway, as we can see. Beautiful, beautiful day for golf and there for the world. Right, with Sandy, Sandy Soft Hands Tahiti McTire coming in with a 41 foot down into the wind, five miles per hour to the southwest. He's going to uh, club down a little bit like a little bitch boy. Doesn't want to go for the, doesn't want to go for the ditch. Absolutely peppers that bad boy down the middle of the fairway. Should have went for it, though. Oh, we might need a little less club on this one. That green's below us. Okay, we got 162 yards, 22 feet downhill. He's going to club down. Ball above the feet. Going to aim a bit to the right. Add a little sauce to it for the wind. Do a couple little practice shots here. Go, go, go. And then nice and silky smooth going right for the pin. Bit, oh, bit too much, and we're fucked. Well, you can't hit them all. Well, let's that see sucks. what happens. This is his Damn. second. I uh, I clubbed down for the for the yeah. That sucked. I, that would have been beautiful if I didn't club down, but that's the shame. Oh, this I'm is oh maybe it. oh maybe we've been getting hustled. Oh geez, I think this we're getting. Not, there was a shot. this is a hustling boys. This is a we got a hustler. Oh no. Get in the hole. Great chip shot there. Pure. That's pure. And to save par. Yeah, this guy's heating up. We're nice in trouble. Played. We'll be back to all square if they drop this puck. 
We're in trouble. We're in trouble now. That one goes in with a bird. All square after that pull. All right. We got ourselves a ball game here. They've gone with the seven iron. I guess you commentating on a charity golf stream is not an option. Ho! Well, let's see what you got. Damn. Damn. Oh, yeah, this guy's turning on the fucking sauce. We're in trouble. We're in trouble oh, now. That's too bad. Uh, pretty sure you weren't planning on that. No, I wasn't, okay. John. We're going to be down one I'm after this. Piece out of this sand. It's fine. Yeah, we're definitely going to be down one after this. Damn, what a turn of events. Setting up here now for our third shot. What a turn. Oh, that could have oh, saved nice us there. Chip there. And they will go to Fuck. one up. If they sink this putt. Oh. Yeah, no, he can two putt this. So he knows it. And they've got this to go to one up. Full tilt. Now it's match play. So, like, after that chip missed. All right, that putt will go. I wasn't expecting him to that miss one, that putt. Opponent, but All right, oh, we, we got it, boys. We got, we got three holes to play. All right, no big deal. We just got to execute simple, simple golf. Perhaps overconfident. Nah, dude, he chipped it in. And then he almost got a hole in one. So that's how we lost both of All our right, points. Let's you know, we still played it okay other than that way. last hole. That last hole was terrible. But, uh, you know, like, there's not a whole lot I could do on a chip in and a near hole in one. Oh, that was a fine swing. Beautiful. Fine Silk. Swing. Yeah, fine. Thank you, John. I pre the ultimate. Uh, what? And what are you thinking? What are you thinking out of this fairway bunker? Let's see what you got. It's a toughie. It's a toughie. You know, we got an 84 to 91% lie on the sand. It's actually not that bad, but it's uphill a, a little bit and into the wind. So, all right, let's see. Let's see what we can do. A little slow. Perfect. It's perfect. Literally perfect. Well done, I couldn't ask for better other than going into the hole, really. Okay, we got it. He's setting up a second shot here. Downwind. Yeah, I mean, like, the wind's going to help us. Did I say the other uh, the opposite? I'm wrong. By the gods, be gods be good. Please miss this and, putt. 14-foot uh, putt for him. Miss it, please. 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 Please miss. Jesus Christ be praised. <laughs> okay, yes. we've got this. Oh god, this is hole. uh this is just absolutely tragic. This is horrible. Uh damn, this is a very difficult putt. These are the worst putts in the game. Uh okay, I think we're I think we should be good with this. Looking good. <laughs> what? Just, uh, yeah, a little too much on there. And here we go. He's putting for the par. I thought it was too much. And I thought it was too much. Hole. Three feet to go. And that hole's halved. Holy shit. Man, that's wild. We needed more? That's insane. We needed more. That is okay, wild. Let's launch this next team okay, shot. uh, yeah, we should be all right. Let's go over here. We still got, listen, we got two holes to play. This is good. That was good. Two step. holes to play, two holes to play. And this one's about 125 yards out. A little slow. Damn, we can't. The slow shots Come are tragic. On, That's not good. That's now. not good. That's not good. I needed to hit a fast shot there. We hit a slow shot, shot there. This is, dude, he's living rent-free in my head. Jacked. Jacked Jariah, or his name is. 
He's living rent free. This is looking saucy. This is nice. looking on it. We're in danger. This is a very, very long putt, but I have confidence in you. It's a snake shot. It's a snake shot. It snakes at the beginning and then comes back at the end. I think the middle, the middle, I think, I think we'll be fine if we straight, if we go straight at it. No! Oh, <gasps> no! It no. just missed! And this next putt to win the match. Oh my god. We are alive! Hmm. Sinking this next putt Woo! will be for his power. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. This one's just a three okay. foot putt. And this is it, boys. Be this is it. It comes down to this, Kodak. Thank you for the four bump sub. Manable. We gotta get the dubski on this one to bring it to the tiebreaker. We're hoping that this guy, okay, he just threads it right down. Okay. This is gonna be all down to the second shot. All right, let's send it. A little slow, we'll be fine there. Okay, this is yeah, it. Work. This is the shot. Okay, we're setting up with an elevated green. <clears throat> elevated green, 23 distance. feet. Wind's going left, five mile an hour. Ball is slightly above my feet. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, yeah, I'm gonna club up slightly, and then aim a bit like this, and try to do an intentional. Fast shot, which is why I'm, I'm going against the wind because the elevation and the wind are going to try to cancel each other out here. So I'm going to try to aim to the right, but I'm going to try to hit it fast. Yep. Ooh, maybe we can get a Ooh, kick left hand. Roll more. Yeah, okay, okay, okay not bad. For you. I'm liking that. And he's got around 150 could, or so. Could have been better, though. Not bad, though. We needed, it, we needed it to be closer. We needed it to be closer. Let's be real. It needed to be closer. And they are going with the nine. Oh, that's game, right there, that's game right there, bud. That's game right there. Fantastic the job. Here we go. Drop this one for birdie. Unless he misses it. And I need to get this in, then. All right. Slight right to left. I think that's all it is right there, personally. I think that's all it is. Oh, it's getting there. That's all it is. Okay. Okay, you drop the putt. There's no way he here. misses this. Oh, man, this I can't believe I missed that four-foot putt. Ah, ah, ah! We should have had him. This dude had some really mighty shots, though. You know, the chip in and then the almost hold in one shot is what really got him. It's what really got me. I can't believe he's walking away with the dub. Well, you didn't get the win here today. Your opponent's going to take this one. Uh, your opponent will walk away Damn. one up on you. He but gave you two time. and still came back. And no, I don't think he that, gave me those shots. Go. Thank you very much. He did, it, listen, if he didn't get that lucky chip in, and if he didn't, if he nearly did. didn't get the hole in one, we would be walking away, looking nice and pretty. It was just a really close shot. There you go. See, we should, yeah, we should be in the birdie. Lucky, dude, he's lucky. Okay, he's lucky, lucky, all luck, all luck. Better to be lucky than good. That's right. That's my motto. We got Gerald, 34, the legend. Um, he's got, it seems to be pink, purple, and teal lipstick. <coughs> We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Hello there, and welcome to this. This guy's business from the neck down and party. 
party and from the head up. It's going to be the back nine of this one today. Let's get after it. Let's see what he can do. Gerard. Gerard. 34 legend. Gerard. The goal in golf is to play the least amount possible. You're right, actually. Beautiful shot. Okay, let's see what you can do off of this tee. Okay, so... Listen, I think we just get real fancy with it. Let's show them what's up. Kick. <laughs> that roll was undeserved. That was like a Darth Vader roll. What guy. happened there? I don't know what's going to go down. We didn't. We got some extra momentum. <laughs> oh, okay. And he's off the green. Okay, so we just we want to try to get. That was lucky, bro. That was All right, absolutely lucky. One hundred percent. Unsimple, <laughs> unsimple golf. Oh no, it's right back. Okay. All right. We could be opening if we play this safe. We could be opening up with a. Um, all right, drop this and you'll go one. All right, let's just hit it nice and opponent. soft. Really, nice and soft. Soft, smooth Spanish hands. Man, these greens are fast as fuck. Uh, what? Was almost in Holy mother oh, of God, on, are you back. serious? Okay, I didn't even I didn't even hit that hard. Shot. It didn't even look like it was going downhill that much. Way to chip that one close. Well done. And a nine foot putt for him. Wow. That's uh That sucks for and us. That, that sucks for us. That sucks for us. We should have had that one, boys. Square. I don't know how much slower I could have tapped that bad boy though. That was pretty slow. This one's heading to the fairway, I think. All right, let's launch this in to the atmosphere, preferably hitting the fairway. Yes, that's a good swing. <sighs> you love to see it. And we're about 115 yards away. Yeah, I'm just going to, that's all I'm going to do. Uh, just for the elevation. Ooh, very slow. Come on, give us a kick. Yo, what's that. with the slow pitch shots right now? I gotta, we gotta fix that. All That's right, a problem. This is his second. I'm doing the driver cadence on a pitch shot. We need to, we need to mess with that. That's terrible. This one's looking good. Man, could have a birdie here. I could have a birdie here, John. Have you seen this? Uh, have you seen the distance that I have to travel in order to uh, get that right now, though? But do you see the fucking distance? Break. Break more. Oh. And if they sink this, they'll go to one up for the match. Yeah, it's pretty good, though. It's fine. And that one will drop. And your friend is just one up. After that hole. Fine. 
Dude, this game is all about the second shot. Really. It's all about the second shot. You want it? You want to try? Oof. Oh, well, in this case, he's going for it. This is good. Decent. Oh, bad bounce, though. Man, this guy is like, if he was one foot further up. All right, let's go. Pound this one out there. All right, let's give it a pound. Let's give it a pound. In. That is not where Looks we want to like go, Sandy. Coming in for safe All right, landing. it's time to deploy simple golf. No more tricks. No more right, bullshit. Shot on the no more bullshit. Simple golf. It's simple golf time. Enough tricks. You've had enough tricks, Sandy. Oh, fuck. I'm just... I'm just rage. In a fit of rage. Just goosed It'll it onto the green. Two up for the match. Just basically the threw the ball onto the green. We need this to be a big miss. That's not a big miss. And from 27 feet out. Visualize. Visualize it. That's gonna work. Fuck. That's for par. And they've got this to go to two up. Okay, listen, we're just, he's and just up two. We got plenty of ball to play. No, things didn't go our way on that one. Gerard, Gerard is playing tight. He's playing tight. We got to start focusing on our game. All right, it's, it's time to focus All up. Right, let her fly. Let's just, let's, let's, let's just play our game. Beautiful. Beautiful. And here's our second shot on the 13th. Don't do driver off the deck. I know you want to, but just don't. Yep, that's yep. going to do. That's going to do. And here's his second shot. Please go driver off the deck. Yes, he is. It's a risky play. Please. Goose it. Well, you don't see yes. that every day. They're ripping the I mean, it doesn't right really matter. He's getting the same distance Bold. as he would the three wood, even on a duff. And Probably the reason why he did it, actually. To the pin. Um, and uh, we could club up, but I feel like... Eh, no, I'm going to club up a little bit. I'll club up. Ooh. Decent approach there. I needed a bit more sauce, right. but that's Third not bad. It looks pretty flat there, so we should have an easy putt, I hope. Get his Oakleys. Guy's got the Oakleys, you're fucked. Okay. Not bad. Okay, here's our chance. This, next this needs to miss, please. Let's see how he does. Please. Tarkov gods, or golf gods, answer my prayer. Make this man miss Ouch, this putt. Right by the hole. All right, Please, you take this hole if you sink this putt. Give me the strength in which I need to land this putt with my fish putter. Please. Left, right to left. Get in the fucking hole, bud. Get in the fucking hole. I went right by. He's got a three footer here. And that putt will go for par. Okay, let's move on. Okay, that hole's going to be halved. <sighs> 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 <sighs>
Rough day for Sandy. Yeah, we're one win, one loss on the day so far. Looking good off the tee. Sadly, and then the, and the last one that we Let's lost, we definitely should have won that one. 100%. That was good. Okay. And from here, it's about 115 yards to the pin. I'm going to club up twice. Because even if we go a bit long, we should roll back down. Oof, man, and you know what? Up another green and regulation. I actually feel like I kind of yeah, wanted it to be a, a bit shot. further up so we would get more momentum on the back, on the coming back down. Bounce right, or sorry, left. Yes, he's in the sand. He's in the sand shit. Here we go. 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 Well, well, let's see how he gets out of this one, shall we? Please, no chipping. Gods be good. Gods be praised. All right, there we go. <clears throat> there we go. Well, this one's anyone's guess. He's in the sand. Let's see what happens. Okay, yep. <laughs> He's and probably going to concede. <laughs> All right. Well, this guy doesn't know how to get out of the okay, sand. He's setting up from the green side. So sand. that's his. That's this guy's weakness. He's chokes in the sand. This guy's had a flawless game up until the sand trap. The sand got him. Snaggled him. Sand snare. Yeah, I knew he would. To win the hole. Yeah. Well, the putt appears to be online. Just a little too much power. All right, sink this one and you'll uh, win the hole. All right, and, that's uh, going to set his mind back. Friend down a peg after that hole. That's good work. Thanks, John. Thank you. Got a headwind blowing in our face on this one. I know, but I can feel it right on my mustache. Nice. Love it. Perfect. Great. Nice Solid. Struck. All right, interesting. Six to putts see to win the hole. I, I should have. Yeah. No, that's 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 listen, guys. That's unsportsmanlike conduct. Okay. This is clocking in at around 170 yards or so to the pin from here. I want to go. Oh, no. Not enough. A little wayward on that Damn. approach. Damn. I actually thought we clubbed okay, up enough. Getting ready to fire because, like, I wanted to go past the pin shot. again on the left-hand side. Not bad, though. Not bad. I just needed a bit more meat. It would have been a It would have been great shot if we had, like, a, a little bit more. It's not bad, but it could have been better. It all comes down to... Okay, okay, okay. Yo, yo, we got Geralt. Right, I'm just putting happens. this out there, bud. This Listen, if you are a hat, shot. I really hope that these are in not intentional throws because if you're watching the stream right now, don't throw it. But I feel like the wheels could be off the wagon, but I just, I don't know, man. I don't really know what to think anymore. I'm confused. This guy had such a strong opener. And from the green side, rough. Ooh, nice little chip on that one. You break down yeah, like this all the time. Par. I do, yes. I absolutely do break down. Oh. There it is. We're back to all square. Just like that. And he's got around four feet to go here. He knows it too. Look at him. Dude, this guy. This and guy's got a go. little. He's dude. This guy's heating. This guy's heating. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this guy's heating up. Three feet left this guy's heating up so far so good and after that one we're all square
Oh, geez, look at this. It, dude, if he... Listen, if he puts it into the water here, he rage quits. I know he will. This one is a par three. Oh, it'd be really difficult to put it into the water, though. Uh, okay. I think clubbing down twice is going to be enough here. Can we please bounce left? Oh, I bounced to the right. That's fine. Ah, don't know what that was. Just a little off on that approach. All right, let's see what he Pin does high. on That's not, it's this fine. One. It's not bad. It's fine. That's like a chip and a putt in. So it could have been better, but I'm okay with that. And here's a look at their five iron. Ooh, baby. He's killing it right to the balls. Boink. Okay, second shot for him on this one. This is, he's, we're still all square, so. He's in the deep shit. With a downhill pin. This is a rough shot. If he gets, if he gets this close, that's a, it's a really good shot. He's got work to do. This guy's got work to do. Oh, here, here it goes. There it goes. It's like it's beach day. It's time to go for a swim. All right. And here's our second shot on the 16th. Ooh, stop! Don't go! No! We're both going to the beach. Ah, yes, Sandy. Yes, that was very misleading. It looked really nice and flat behind the ball. All right, this next putt's for his par. Going to the beach. All the way down. Ooh, just, just missed. Okay, here's your chance to go one up on your opponent. Oh! Right by. This one's a three foot putt. All right, now let's set our sights to the next. We should have had him on that one. Gonna be halved. Should have had him on that and one. Now teeing off on a par four. Gave it. We gave it away. Gave it away. Gave it away. Gave it away. Now, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Might be going for the bunky. No, we're good. Oh, that was. Nice. That okay, was pretty he close. To be ready to roll on this one. Let's see how this. No, I actually shot didn't goes. see the downslope behind the pin. It looks really nice and flat. So I just fairway did bounce. a really quick, like what I thought was a soft chip, and it rolled all the way back to the and to the green. About 135 yards to go. Um, really, I think we aim right at it and then go for the fast shot and hope the wind uh, compensates. That's my plan here. And the wind, compensate, compensate, compensate. Bit long. Nice approach. And here we go with his second shot. Oh, because I use the uh, the timing swing cadence, or the architecture, the, the player archetype. A lot of people use power archetype, but because I'm so bad, I need every help of swing timing. That I could possibly good. get. What I should be doing is is getting clubs for power Here we go. and Let's archetype for timing. But I do both for timing because I need help. Oh, it's going right by the hole. What the fuck are these greens? And this one's your fourth. They're so fast. Ooh. They're so fast. And this putt's going to put him one up. <sighs> Damn. All right, if they sink this, they're going to go one up. This is a bad hole to fuck up this hard. 
hut will drop the park. You're both throwing at this point? Well, it's match play, so... Oh! Give the, give, sure the rough, give the rough, give the rough, give the rough, give the rough! Yes! The heavy rough. Okay, okay. All right, let's let her fly. Let's go. Okay, good. Second shot on the 18th. Imagine not seeing the downhill on the greens. Boys, we're fucking going for it. We have to go for it. Well, no, 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 nope. Oof, not bad. Could have been worse. Okay. No he's balls. Out of the he's deep see the only reason stuff. why is like he's in the heavy rough right now. So he won't be able to carry all the way there. So uh if I was to fuck th this needs to be bad. Iron on display. Okay. Yes. We need it to be closer okay, than what, what we happens. are. This, this shot needs to be bad. This shot needs to be bad. This shot needs to be bad. If this shot's good, we lose the game. Please. By the gods, somehow fuck up this man's shot. GG. It's setting up in the green side rough. Here's a putt from 19 feet. Thanks, John. Dude, I can hear the somber voice in John. Yeah. Right by the hole. That's GG. He, he could tie the hole and still win. Now, that's like, this, you, you could two putt that. If we didn't chip it in, that's game. And that's going to do it for them here today. Ooh, okay. Well, all right, all right. We got, we got time for one more. No win to speak of. We got time for one more. There is always next time. I'm going to and fit some that, more clubs. I leave you. We'll see you again real soon, though, hopefully, right? One more. Do we get demoted? Demoted, how embarrassing. All right, what do we got here? Uh, what's the club that needs the most help? 100% our wedges. Our wedge game needs help. This is nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's put that on all. Okay. What about... Uh... I'm going to get the fit the lob wedge with a grip if I can. We got any grips? We got a timing grip. See. It's too, we should, you know, it's too much, but let's just max it out. Let's max it out. All right. Do we got any balls? What do we got for balls? I like these. Do we got any? We got some Aviator UV2s. Let's slap those bad boys in there. And then also, 
let's change the look. You know, let's get, um, let's run the range ball again. Okay. Let's run the range ball. We got Maverick. Oh, we got another Oakley Dirty Crust Dash with the Santa Claus t-shirt. Weird. Oh, we might, this might, this, we might have a gamer. We might have a gamer on our hands. Hello there, and welcome to PGA Tour 2K23. What else? Today we stand That's right, what else? the par four to start out with. Okay, let's send this little biscuit on its way. We'll little biscuit on the way, bud. Little biscuit. Down Looks the, like the fairway. Fair, the I mean, here. solid shot. Alrighty, he's good to go on this one. Let's Sending the biscuit down goes. the fairway. Into the heavy rough. Second shot here on the first. Dude, we're going to do a five iron chip here. Dude, that was absolutely on it. He's damn. in the green side, rough. Damn, that was so close. You thought it was in. Looks like we could have a birdie on this hole. The problem is I need to put this in or else uh, we're in trouble. I feel like this is enough. It's getting there. Yep. That was amazing. Thank you, John. And if he manages to sink this putt, the hole will be have. All After right. That first hole, all square. We had some work to do, man. We had some work. And we're teeing up on hole number two. Do another good drive. Bounce left. Yep. Oof, man, barely made it. And he's ready to tee. Barely off made here. it. Let's see how this goes. Man, this guy had no problem making it. <laughs> okay, about 215 yards or so to the pin. Um, We should be able to make this, no problem. This might find some trouble. Don't Here really understand what happened to the distance there, but shot. okay. The one mile per hour wind is having more effect on the shot, I think, than... This is what our third shot's looking like. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna go one up for the match if they sink this. I mean, this is a this is a super difficult putt for this guy, so he's probably gonna play it safe unless he just knocks her right into the hole right here, which he's gonna do. Yikes! That went right by. Okay. Seven foot putt for him. Whew. 
right by. Okay, this putt to go one up on your friend. Ooh, that drops, and that's your that was uh, thirty in a row. That was risky. I will one say that was uh, that it was this either going in or we're, we were going to lose hole. the hole. A little bit of fade on this one. Come on, kick right. Come on. Yes. All right. Okay. Yep. Safely could be closer. It always could be closer. It could yeah, always go in. But like that's that was a nice that was a nice shot. For him. You were way over, way too confident with that. Jesus. Yeah. Let's just smash Five it into the hole. This is good, this man. Dude, this guy's really good. Shots He's better than me. Good. This is a very good player. For the we're going up against very, very, very good. Definitely the best player of the day, I think. This one's on a good line. No! Bit long on that one. This one's just a five footer. Good job on that putt. And you two will be all square if they sink this. And that one goes for birdie. Oh man, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. That one's a tough one. Maverick's got your number now, Doodles, I know. Oh, the anticipation oh. is gonna be good. All right, let's go. Let's launch this one out there. Oh, that's no good. I think it's heading to the bunker. And second shot here on the fourth. No big deal. No big deal. Ain't no problem. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What do you mean? The game just stopped the momentum. It had way more, it had way more gas. It had way more gas. It had way more gas in the tank. What do you mean? Here's a look for birdie. That is brutal. Okay, safely home with that putt. And that hole will be halved. Dude. Wasn't there a movie about some guy named Maverick who became a hero after his goose died? Something like that. All right, here we go. Give it a rip. Let's hit that fairway. Oh, T shot took a nice Man, here. that sucked. I, uh, the ball was going so fast and until it wasn't. It was just like, yards it was, out. it looked like it was rolling real nice and good. And, uh, and yeah, what do you, what do you, what do you even say? What do you do in that situation? You know what I mean? It's like, oh, wow, it's absolutely insane. All right. This should be good. This should be really good. There we go. That's what oh, we're yeah. looking for. Those are the second shot. shots well we done. need. Those are the well, second shots we need right there. Fire away with his second shot. We want to. We want those one putt potentials. One PPs. We were looking for those one PPs. Bert, thanks to the thirty-four month resub. Damn this guy. And this guy's got an answer for it. To go. Somehow we were closer than that. I don't really. Oh. Shit, he missed it. And this putt drops. You can go one up. This one's tracking. Yeah. Okay. One up for the match after that one. All right, let's see what we can do here on the sixth hole. <sighs> Oh, 
dude. Silky smooth. Silky smooth. Smart shot. He's ready to tee off. Let's I just noticed his shirt says him. bad on it. Yeah, that's why we wore it. I think it's a company called Bad Birdie, I think. Okay, this is about 125 yards away. 125 yards away. We're going to play it safe. Yeah, that'll play. Maybe a bit too safe, but he's setting up a second shot here. But I know if we aimed at the pin and I went too fast, we went right into the drink. Oh, yeah. Damn. The green. Dude, this guy is this guy is okay. sniping. Could be a birdie on the scorecard if you drop this. Dude, this guy is absolutely sniping. Oh, it could be. Ah. Nope. Why? How close was it? And seven feet to the cup. Close enough where the audience was like, "Huh." Nicely done. Must have been a rimmer. We'll be back to all square. Yeah. And that'll drop. Must have been a rimmer. <clears throat> this guy, this guy, though, the fact, like, I'm playing good. Looks this like round this, this is probably the best way. round i've personally played all game because this guy is by Down far the, the best person that we've went up against all all day if i played this well against any of the other people we would have went up against no shot i've been hitting some really solid perfect drives some good shots some good approach shots some one punt potentials it's been really nice. Second shot on the seventh. Bellas. I was going to drive her off the deck it, but never mind. I was go for the three wood. Nothing wrong with that. All right, here's his second this shot. This guy could definitely drive. He could drive it. I know he can. Actually, he might be close enough to just get there for three wood. Holy shit. Also, I feel like this guy's three clicking. You can tell. Okay, third shot. There's nothing wrong with that. I played some really good golf, but the way his shot is. There's like no, uh, there's no like waggle. There's no haggle. It's just like a straight, uh, it's just like a straight perfect cadence every time. I feel like he's three clicking, but again, don't hate the player, hate the game. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I still played some mighty good golf here. I can't, I can't this. complain. They will go one up for the match. It is what it is. And the putt drops for Eagle. And after that hole, your friend is one up. Watch for the this match. guy's drive. Watch how he well, watch how he shoots. You'll see what I mean. And here's their oh, yeah. four iron. Okay, let's see what you got here. All right, we have to answer him. There we go. Nice swing on that one. Fuck! Man, That's that game. approach was a bit wayward. Here's our second shot on the eighth. That's game. That one. Nice chip. 
And they need this to win the yeah. match. Yeah, good game. Good game. I've still played some good golf though on that one. I can't I can't beat myself up. That's too bad. Your friend that guy that guy was one putting the entire game and I was just like struggling to keep up with him. Two up on you at the end. I was just struggling to hold on. And that's that. I had one more. What no? How is this guy 362? See you next time. Smurfin. How's that guy 362? There's no way. You you can't have that many one putts and be 362. That's insane. That's a, that is wild. All right, listen, fellas. Uh, I have to go. It is my time to descend from these stairs. But if you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting the follow button if you haven't already. I mean it. It's the little heart on the screen that lets you know whenever I go live, which is Monday through Friday, starting at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch and on YouTube now. So if you're into the VOD people, I highly recommend that you guys watch the VODs on YouTube because it's a higher quality. It's a 1440p VOD, and the VODs are going to be up on YouTube all the time. So you can watch live. You can watch on YouTube as well. So uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we should have... Uh, so it should be a pretty interesting day. We're going to be playing this World War I shooter uh, in the afternoon, and it uh, looks pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to it. Take it easy.